got this one line. Just got this one line. I'm let to think that it would go on forever, but I've got just one try. Yeah, I've got this one try. I remember when we were kids. You lost your parents, I heard the hymns. I swore that day that I would love you forever if those were my last words. If those were my last words. I might never be. Submarine. I might never be an actress on a giant silver screen. But my heart will make a house standing anywhere you'll be. And my love will hold the diamond shining far as you can see. Oh, when we grow old, we grow old with me. Oh, when we grow old. This one light, one light that shines on my life. Just, Just like a rose blooming out from this desert, oh, I saw these two eyes. Yeah, I saw your two eyes. I might never be a singer who's been knighted by the queen. I might never be a model in a fashion magazine. People dance from your window if you see an Irish band, and there I stand, guitar in hand, asking for my love if I could be a man. I dance so when we grow old. Will you grow with me? Put up with changes. Come pick me up, cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where.
I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. Everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real, I call for you, hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun, with the light to fire, I've been flying up the ceiling, taken by this feeling, baby we're invisible at last, fueling 
Chato. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? <laughs> I just don't know anymore. I really don't. <laughs> the worst thing is, Chato, right? The worst thing is I can't tell if it's done that because I have to go to a different scene during the intro. So if it does that during that intro screen, I can't fucking see it. <laughs> oh, dear. Superb. Scott, your day's ruined. I'm sorry, mate. Back to work with you. <laughs> Oh, everything's proper buggy today, ain't it, friends? I'm not even going to bother this time. <laughs> How's it going, friends? Hope you're doing well. Oh, fuck it. You know what? No, you're right. This cannot be allowed to stand. Right, let's go. Chateau, it's Thursday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Treaty Bloody United, we still have £13 million left in our transfer budget. Plenty more transfers out there for us to find today to strengthen this squad. In addition, the Priestess has now joined us and is banging goals in left, right, and centre. It's next gen day. We get a nice chill stream with just vibes and not having to worry about Europe. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Treaty United. There we go. We finally done that the first time, eh? Just worth up my tits out. Any really, chat? That would have been a horrible moment for us all there. Oh, my goodness. The camera today on freezing a camera. <laughs> like someone's... I can't remember who said it was. This is how you know it's the sequel to Transfers because the same fucking thing happened. James, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back, my friend. I hope, you're having a, hope your day is going better than mine is. It's all I can really say. Professional. Exactly. I am... I need to... I don't think it's chat. I, my mug got broken. My world's okay streamer mug got broken and I'm sad. But maybe that was the the straw that broke the camel's mug in this particular case. I'm the mug as it goes. Very, I know. God. One of these days I'm not going to do this for a living. <laughs> ah, well, moving the attention swiftly on from me. How's it going? How's your Thursday out, my friends? The downfall has started. Oh, the downfall started age. The downfall started when Zlatko left, honestly. Well off the break. There you go. So you got an intro, it just wasn't the first intro. Sometimes you just take a break and the intros come along at once. It's fine. Tom's shortlist. <laughs> you, you mean every single player? To be fair, let's be honest, right? If Mr. Tom FM was drafting, Tom Howcroft would surely be first on the list, right? Absolute peak player he is right there. Oh, morning Twitch plays. Let's start first that right, indeed. Although we already kind of started it wrong, but you never know. The downfall started when you updated the kits. Now, the downfall started when I downloaded the downfall mod for Slay the Spire, which, by the way, is an absolute masterpiece of content, to be fair. Oh, that is a sign of just... No, 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 I'm not, I can't possibly be a good... That would go the opposite direction. I'd have to nail, like, ten intros in a row flat out to even be considered above average. And I don't want that. That would ruin the sheen of it all, my friends. So, where do we even begin? Oh, my... What?! No, the camera hasn't frozen, just in case anyone was... <sighs> Hang on, just to clap. Was... I need to... <sighs> At first I read that as five. And then I saw it go off the script. <sighs> okay, well first... If you have just been gifted a sub by Jack there i.e. everyone in the known universe, um, to drop in, say hello. Um, do be sure to thank him. Um, now, I, I feel like it's important because, and I feel like I should do this whenever we have a potentially someone that's not, like, because I realise, Jack, um, you, obviously you've been extraordinarily generous to me 
in the last month. I know you're quite new to the channel. I just want to make sure with anyone who's gifting large subs like this, that this is uh, that you are in a financially stable position and actually able to do that. And if you're not, please don't do that. Please always put yourself first. Uh, and that goes for everybody as well. I just want to make sure this is really clear when it comes to fiscal responsibility and things like large amounts of gifted subs, because I realize that there's problems with that. But if that is the case, then thank you so much. That's unbelievably nice of you, and I'm extremely grateful. But I just wanted to make sure that's out there and extremely important to remember for everybody. Um, oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, that's everybody. Every Nobody dodged that. If you're unsubbed in chat right now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Twitch plays, he dodged it. You big dodger. Oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. That's very kind of you, my friend. In first stream, I found you on TikTok. I will be using you to learn how to play this game right. See, you got to be very careful learning me how to play the game right. Let's just make that very clear. I don't do good at game. Me bad at football manager. See last two showdowns oh, that I was in, for examples of that. Uh, occasionally, I break things and we find cool stuff, but I am... But well done. Uh, thank you for coming by, though, and thank you for finding me on TikTok. I'm glad that actually works. Oh, my God, I'm missing stuff here. Daz with the gifted sub as well, and JPEX with the gifted sub to Twitch Plays Isaac. Is that Binding of Isaac, by any chance? I assume it is. Hey, David, it's our resident dodger. <laughs> How's it going? Ooh. Well, that's that sub girl smash, isn't it? <laughs> Twitch told me earlier, you've met that sub goal. I was like, oh, I should probably update that then. No need, I guess. <laughs> thank you. So seriously, thank you so much for that, Jack. That's unbelievably kind of you. A practice match against Tom's lineup. A practice match with, with what uh, is the problem? I really want Tom to do well now, just because he's done what I would like to do sometimes, but I've never had the balls to do. And mad props. I, also, if he does do really well, I think it would sort of show just how mad this match engine could be sometimes. And JPEX now with the gifted sub to false 19. You catch me up, as in on the VOD cell phone. Or on, in real life, I forget. Hey, RPG man. Uh, I've missed out on so many sub hype buttons. I'm going to do more presents because there's been so many gifties in there. Um, and I don't feel like one round of presents was an, was an... I actually can't remember the last time someone gifted 25 subs in a single bloody chunk. I've The whole of my chat window that I have on OBS was completely full of X was gifted a gifted sub to. I, I, it, it doesn't get any less strange. It's, but thank you, unbelievable Jack. I, I don't know what to say other than, like I said, please um, take note of what I said. If, if that doesn't apply to you, then that's totally cool. Um, but yeah, well, Matt's what I pick. There's not as many good Matt's as there are good Toms off a Monish chat, right? There just isn't. Is there also on a level five harp train? Of course we are. How could we not be at that point? I have to sub in for it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. They just wouldn't tell me. But like, by the way, Matt, you're in. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, man's of £100. Yeah, I think he'll probably end up donating that to charity or something, which would be awesome. Um, from what I can tell, anyway. Uh, oh, how are Bishop Ultras? No, that's okay, Jack. But I just wanted to make sure that you heard what I said. Um, and if that, like I said, if you're in a fiscal, fiscally responsible and financially responsible position, position to be able to do that, then that's... I am extremely grateful, but please don't ever put anything before your own finances. I just really should stress that. Um, right, let's do a Harold Bishop Ultras to celebrate this blessed day. Matt Holland, actually. Big up Matt Holland and Matty Taylor. Loved a bit of Matty Taylor. That guy could volley one from a mile away. Right, Harold Bishop Ultras, because remember, it's next-gen day the following day. And you know what that means, chap? Mexican, Monterey. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, fuck! Goodness sake and shit and balls! The minute you get uptight, you're dead. And today we are not uptight, not even by a little bit. Also, I really love how those um, emotes look in chat. I actually, I like them more and more. Uh, Senegalese PSG. It could be, you know. They do actually have a Senegalese guy. Or do they? No, there's a Cameroonian at PSG. But I think he's 20 now. Hearts English. It could be. I reckon, if I'm being serious about who's going to be the next gen, I suspect it's going to be a player in Scotland on loan from Manchester United or Liverpool is what I actually suspect. So someone like Hibbs 
English or Man Hibs English on loan from Man City or something because they have a lot of guys on loan. Also, I asked the board for a senior affiliate again because I figured, you know what? At the very least, we might get some cheap loans uh, because we're at a stage now. I think we could get a massive senior affiliate, like a world-class club, like a Barca, Real, Chelsea, lol, um, type of side. So they actually said yes. So we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. But you never know. Matty Cash, true, 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 true. Ross County Turkish. Now, that would be the dream. Ross County, have, they might actually get relegated again. That's how bad they've done since their guy uh, decided to pull out all their funding, basically. But yes, um, I hope you guys are all well this morning, is all I can say. English Rangers. It could be. Did Bose... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I totally forgot about Bose. They must have... One second. Ninja Chicken with the three months. I hope you're well, my friend. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the three months. That's very kind. Uh, yeah, I just totally forgot about Bose because I've only played like a month off stream in order to get up to this point. And I stopped at March 30th because I wanted to play like a few league games, test some stuff out, and then stop before next gen day because so, we were doing like a chill vibey stream today. And I completely forgot that Bose were playing in Europe. Well, I guess we get to figure out. Let's face it. They were playing Bodder. I think against Bodder, they'll have had a chance to at least win a game against them, right? That's my hope. Or at least a draw in one of the legs or something so that it's enough to, like, maybe keep us above Serbia. I don't know. We'll have to see. Bows are a bar in training. Maybe draw. Yeah, it's something like that. Right, let's have a look. Let's just go to the Europe. I mean, wouldn't it be great? Because there must be at least another round done by now if they were still in the draw. I don't know what I was expecting, really. Like, let's be honest. I don't think I expected them to see who cares about Bose. Uh, We do. It's the point of the save. Also, any transfers we make now won't join us straight away anyway. They'll be joining us in the summer. So we've got plenty of time to go through that today. Ooh. I did a lot of team report testing yesterday as well. And I've got some data to share with you on that in a minute as well. But um, those of you that were in Mike's stream yesterday afternoon will already know what I'm going to tell you because I was there doing it live. Okay. So they weren't in the quarterfinals, which is not a huge surprise. They were in the first knockout round, right? Team report, it is fucking mental. So it was first knockout round because they came second in their group. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Does that mean they lost the first leg? Sorry. Five ni So the first leg was one all. And the second fight hang on, was that Let's look at the match. Did it let me? That was away from <laughs> It was away from home. Oh dear God! Football is just a bit weird this year, isn't it? They won five nil away from home. Bose had sorry, not Bose. Bodder had one shot in the second leg, despite having sixty nine percent possession. Nice. God damn! It appears their goalkeepers just had an apps. They scored every. I mean, to be fair, Bose clearly deserved to win this tie based on that alone, right? That they had a load of chances, it would seem. But what on earth? Yeah, Bohemian building a nation. They're, they're carrying the flag. One shot at home. Can we see the... What was the... Hang on. I want to see what the stats are for the home game. Uh, let me go to their schedule, right? Presumably, they were going to knock... Oh, okay. So, they were playing Fyodor. Oh, I mean, let's be honest. They weren't going to beat Fyodor, were they? Um, but I do want to see what the first leg stats were like. One all... Right. No, where is it? Oh, there. One all draw at home. To be fair... Um, the 5 nil almost makes up for the fact that they somehow got absolutely FM'd at home. What were Bodder doing? They had a grand total of 0.69 XG over two legs against Bows. Well, that might have just saved us. Look at this 2.55. Bows should have won this first leg about 3 nil. Bows deserve to win this tie. 5 nil in that second leg is mad. But it seems like, hey, look, it's Leo Cornich. Hey, my boy, who's playing as left back for Bod? Well, that's your problem. Um, isn't Leo Cornish a right back? Nice to see Big Leo. Oh, good stuff. Yep, yeah, they've got um, Fred Kisombi, uh, Kitimbala MP in there as well. Hey, Marius. Well, that's. I mean, they deserved it. What do you reckon? It was the narrow system, maybe. Because I just find this system is very, very bad if you've got any width on the opposing team. And Bose clearly did. I'm excellent now. Uh, because we've just noticed that Bose absolutely hammered Bodder in the Europa Conference League. Not in this game. Well, they did. They just didn't win. But they won 6-1 on aggregate. I thought Bodder were better than that, honestly. So what happened in the second game? So 
2 0 at home against Fire. Fire and order better than them, let's be honest. But they gave it a go. Oh, dear. Well, I think that's probably what did them. Three serious injuries in the game. We'll, we'll do that. The beginning of the stream be like. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> you forgot something. What's the important right? <laughs> In it in the home leg yeah that, but to be fair they did they did decently they did better in the home leg in terms of the amount of conceded but they had no attacking threat apparently <laughs> massive applause to chops oh yeah i couldn't believe that i was so happy i've never seen anything like that where a penalty given away in the 93rd minute that could cost us everything is then saved i was about to throw something out the window when that was given away what was the second leg like away from home oh is it just me right or tactically, are bows really good at playing away from home with no possession? Like, they seem to create a shitload of chances away from home despite having zero possession. That's that's really... A, that's kind of interesting. It might explain why they did so well in Europe, actually, if they were able to do this on the regular. Admittedly, they didn't do well in this game, but it looks like it was mostly down to their keeper actually being kind of bad. Yeah, but it's not just Catanaccio, because they're actually creating, too. They're just playing a really low possession... What's like Burnley-esque when Burnley were like really at top of their game? Like low possession, decent output. Really interesting. But fair play to Bose. Obviously, they seem to be struggling. I noticed they were struggling in the league. So maybe I should have taken that as a, a sign that they were doing well in Europe. But I just completely forgot that they were even still in Europe. Because I was just sat there listening to a podcast, pressing continue for a little bit. And there we go. So by the way, this is how the league shaping up. Needless to say, I think our, I think our very own anti-football tactic kind of works. Uh, the Priestess especially is very good but we'll talk more about that in a second i need to know if we're above serbia okay that's absolutely massive so bows getting that result was enough to keep us above serbia which is really important because it keeps us in 30 no 14th spot which means we don't have any kind of noticeable differences for another year next year is going to be an absolute mission and a half we know that anyway but that was always going to be the case but at the very least it actually means we have a step up season so it's it's good it's a good result uh, so, yeah, the, Serbian the only Serbian team that was left was um, Partizan, and they got knocked out by Young Boys, I believe, in the same round, actually, as uh, Bose got through, right? I think I saw it here. Yeah, Partizan, Young Boys. And it looks like, they yeah, they lost both games. So that's good. So, yeah, that was the last Serbian team in it. They went out the same round, it seems. So that's, that's actually fine. Who's actually left in this, by the way? I'm just curious now. Uh, mm, an annoying amount of check sides in that there's two of them we need a norway i can't believe that season norway had it's absolutely mad just don't get drawn against manchester united well i mean luckily we've got a long way to go before there are any draws against manchester united possible so it's all good set piece to counter attack well that kind of is what works isn't it like to give you an idea i've been playing this system for not this system sorry i was setting up some uh trading stuff this system since in the few off camera games that i did with um preotesa the priestess playing through the middle alongside a, a rotating cast of other guys. I just wanted to get him in for a bit. And so far, happy. Seven and seven, two assists, solid form. The one thing I've noticed about Preo Tesa is that when he isn't scoring or assisting, his rating is still high. And I think it's because of this. Having a comes deep to get ball trait is not something I would usually want on my advanced forward. But when we've got two of them, it almost kind of makes him act a bit like a deep lying forward sometimes but only in build-up play. And it will still make the whacking runs in behind. It's really interesting. And he has this real knack in the games I've been watching for just randomly finishing. The sort of chances that we wouldn't normally finish. Those one-on-ones where they go through on goal and you're like, they're going to miss. He doesn't. It's like Zlatko. And I wonder if it's just because his finishing is so high that it just overweighs everything else. Obviously, he's on quickness training. Yeah, he needs to get a face. That's the one thing I haven't had a chance to do yet. Yeah, we gave him number 69 because, well, reasons, isn't it? Had to. He's staring into our soul. The great thing about him as well is because he's here for two years on loan, we don't even have to worry about getting him stolen from us for another two years. I quite like the idea of, in certain scenarios, signing players on a two-year loan with mandatory fee to allow us to lock them down, if they're going to be first-team players for us, that is, of course. Otherwise, if they go, they can't, yeah, we'll be able to send them out on loan. But if they're a first-teamer, that not, might not be a good, might be a viable strategy just to keep them out of the other team's hands for a little bit. Plus, it sort of acts like an extra contract because your contract that you get to negotiate with them starts after the loan spell. So his contract actually takes him through to 2041 with us with an extra year on top of that as well. So he's got a six-year deal currently. And it's great. He's only on £300 a week. <laughs> Technically. But obviously, we're paying the uh, the loan fee on top of 100k a month, which is fair for what he's already given us. Right. 
I guess we just press continue, right? We just see what's going on transfers-wise, stand stuff. And also, more importantly, it's next-gen day tomorrow, which means we get to do our standard. So what did we say then? I said... Mm, let's say, okay, we're going to go Hibs English on loan from someone. Not sure who. It feels like that's type of... That's my prediction for next gen. Get yours in chat now and we'll start progressing so we can get there. Because I'm curious about this too. Oh, plus, we might find some new signings in there. You never know. Uh, right. Well, Tortosa just got an Italy cap. That really does show how good some of our players actually are. If this guy's getting Italy caps now, that's something. Uh, no Reggie at all, Anarith. In fact, not only that, he has, if you look at the league here, He's been the second highest rated player in the league. Now, I've been playing him more than my assistant would like just because I wanted to get him some game time. So far, though, average of an 8.12. Two goals and one assist so far this season in four games from centre-back. He's pretty fucking good, isn't he? Let's be honest. He's great. Slovakia Napoli. Slovakia. So he's got a wage hike. They want Ackman. He has no interest. Wow. So usually, they, usually they're interested. Maybe he's earning so much money here he doesn't think they're going to get it. You got offered it with Forrest. Wow, that is quite the step. Ah, oh, Anders. No. Hey, Arbor Ref. So, you might notice here, um, I've gone through and I've applied for a team report for every major club in every single nation in Europe that I suspect we would be able to get players from. I.e., I've skipped people like the major sides in major leagues. But we're up to E for Estonia uh, at this point. So, this is for Italian. So, every time one of these comes through, just going to have a little look. Nothing there. That's fine. So, I've worked out some stuff, which I will quickly discuss with you now before we get into next gen. The team report works as thus. It doesn't matter which scout you send. The report is the same. I loaded into a test save in Man City last night to test this. And I went... They've got a really good scout called Gary Worthington. He's their head scout. He's got ridiculous attributes. I also signed a guy who had one in judging potential and three in judging ability and all the other stuff was shit. Signed him up. And then I saved before I did it. Sent one out to do the report. Then I sent the other guy out to do the report. The exact same information comes back no matter which scout you send. So it does not matter the quality of the scouts you send. And that's really important information because if you're doing a lower league save and you have no ability to do any massive scouting operations, team reports will allow you to get the same quality of scouting as if you had the best scouts in the world. Which means the game is a bit broken. Also... Sending them to repeatedly the same club doesn't get you any more information about the club. Sending them to the same country over and over again to scout all the clubs gives them exactly zero information about that country's club knowledge overall. So they gain no scouting knowledge of the nation whatsoever, which is a little bit stupid. Did it seem to cost anything? That's the only thing I haven't been able to test yet. But I don't think it's particularly expensive either. The only way you'd be able to test that would be to get to like a fresh month where there's no expenses and then have that be the first expense you do. That's the one thing I've not been able to test yet. But it does seem like a very, very powerful scenario at the moment I'll see you later jack and thank you always thank you so much for the outrageous generosity as earlier but yeah you can't see the price of the reports sadly um because they don't show up in the same way you'd have to do it on like a blank slate for a new month with finances so wait to the first day of the month send a report out we might be able to test it when we roll over to april perhaps because we'll have one come in so also i worked out that you can only get one every day now before it used to be a certain number per scout per day now it's one per day no matter how many scouts you send so bear that in mind you can only do one per day so that, that's quite important as well okay um but oh and the other thing is the information is fleeting if you let a month expire between the team report this data goes and you will no longer have star ratings for the players so again bear that in mind too so you can't just use it to suddenly get loads of scouting information. And it also removes the attribute information that you knew about them. So it's kind of like how with the trial thing before where you'd lose the information. After a month, it goes. So you have to kind of... You have to deal with it as and when. So when it comes through, if you find a player you like, start scouting them right at then. You can't rely that that information is still going to be there in a month. That's all the information I've learned so far about it. Right, here we go. Next gen. Oh no, later on? L later on. We'll get there. Oh. Yearly wage nearly double from one season to another. Wow. Uh, yes. So our wage... I'll just show you our wage sets right now. So we are currently spending 15 million a year in wages. But you'll also notice now that both Dundalk and Bose, and even Sligo Rovers actually to an extent, have massively upped their wage spending. Bose obviously are secure financially as a result of their European success. They must be in the millions now in the bank, just comfortable. So yeah, we're spending a lot, but these guys a couple of years ago weren't even spending a million quid. Now Dundalk are on 2 million, Bose 1.5, and even Sligo are spending shitloads of cash. So there's definitely something there. And it gone. Yeah, maybe it's not even a month then. Uh, so yeah, it's you have to action it immediately, otherwise you're screwed. Yeah, St. Pat's not spending a great deal of cash, and it, it's showing, really. 
Did they do any crazy transfers? Not that I'm aware of, but we can have a look, actually. They've got... Wow, they've literally done nothing. They paid a loan fee for Demiri. Not that I wanted them to, but they did. Uh, because, obviously, it's handled by my loan manager. So, I'm obviously offering them for free, but sometimes they'll just put money in the deal anyway. It's weird, but they did that. Uh, they got rid of a few guys, but that's it for Dundalk this window. What about Bose? They might have done because they're in Europe still. You'd like to think they have. Oh, wow. Bose have spent £1.1 £1 .1 million this season. Ross Murphy from Rochdale. Solid physicals. Irish. Not great technically, though, at all. But he's only 23, I suppose. It's a lot of money. Maybe it'll be worth more than that. I don't know. Uh, Sean O'Sullivan on a free. From UCD. Oh, it was a treaty guy. Fair enough. Take our cast offs. That's cool. Nicholas Sorn from Salford. Irish goal. Wow, they're just signing up purely Irish players, aren't they? They love it. And last but not least, 250k for Callum Waters. Another Irishman. They're just only... Wow, he's got really good physicals. He's actually not awful. For like a no-nonsense fullback. In fact, he's a really solid centre-back for them. If they were to play him there. Great heading, great jumping reach, solid physicals, great aggression, bravery. He's good. I don't mind that. Bo should have... Yeah, you'd expect so. Because uh, they got the... Well, not to mention, they also, remember, won the first knockout round. So they won a game and a Drua game, and they would have played in the next knockout round, so they would have got money knocked down from there as well, wouldn't they? I don't know what the final fees are like for that. Let's have a look. It should tell us, right? So they got to here. So yeah, you get 257k for appearing in that. And then another... Just for reaching, for getting knocked out by final there, they got another half a million pounds. So Bose should be the second most financially stable club in Ireland right now. I suspect Dundalk will overtake them again soon because they'll be the Champions League team for us this year. And that means that they'll probably end up in the Europa Conference League group stages because I think they're going to get the bye. So they're pretty much guaranteed group stages this year, which is sick. But I think Bose could get there with them, honestly. They do seem to only be signing Irish players, interestingly. Ah, next gen. Here it is. Lovely. Okay, I'm just going to have a little sip of my drink. Mm. It's Football Manager Christmas, everybody. Let's crack on. Yeah, as that's the thing. They get money for their wins in the group stages. And bear in mind, they got four of them. They got four wins and a draw in the group stages. So that's probably about another mil and a half in money. That's decent, right? Oh. Okay. Why has he got a face? Also, noteworthy. Um. Look at the... Shit, wait, really? How does it... I, you, I swear someone... It feels like it's because they play more. If they're playing more, they seem to get highly rated. Mexican Mbappe. Into Wonder Kid, Gerard Griffel, and the Mexican Mbappe. And the next Antonio Roma. Good old Tony Roma. All right, well, first things first. Oh, he's a goalkeeper. Area Rich is good. Reflexes are good. He's six foot five. He's actually... I, this, ignoring this for a second, he's actually quite good. Now, as we know, as we know, this is not always the end of the world. When did he sign that new contract? Okay, 16th of February. Release clause. I think we can still come back. We could priest test him, I suspect. I think we could priest test him. And I kind of want to test out if we can, because I think he's genuinely good. Ignoring this for a second, I think he's a really solid goalkeeper. He's got the key things I really like. His handling is solid. His aerial reach is spectacularly good. He's got great jumping reach, which is really helpful. And his reflexes are good too. Eccentricity is low. Well, we can't do it yet. We have to wait till um, a month. I reckon that something to do with there being a month out from that contract was what pushed us over the line with him. But what we will do is note. Make a note on him. Uh, also, I think we might have just found ourselves a new method. The priestess method. Okay, so we'll create a note. We want a uh, reminder date. No, not note date. We want a reminder date. I'm just going to set it for... Wait, that was February, right? Yeah, hang on. We're in, we're in March now, actually. Do you know what? I'm going to set it for like the 17th of February, just to give us a bit of airtime, if you like. I think he's probably... You're right. He's actually... But... Hmm. Do you know what? We'll create the note. We'll have a crack at it now. And if it doesn't work, we'll come back in a month's time and try again. But I think he would be... Do we agree that he would be worth a punt on? Just because 
ignoring this for a second, I think he's really good. Let me. We've got emotes for this. It's perfect. I'm gonna be so confused. I'm always confused. <laughs> mm. I wonder who scouted him. We can actually see, can't we? Basar Halimi. Yeah. So he's not actually one of our better scouts. He's a guy I've got more for his knowledge than anything else. How does he compare to Barto? Oh, yeah, well, good question. Strong. They are building it now. But it was always kind of important for us to have a backup keeper anyway. So where Barto is better is his speed and, well, I mean, let's be honest, right? Sweeper keeper support. That is what we use, right? Or is it sweeper keeper defend? Sweeper keeper support. Aerial reach, four better. Command of area, technically slightly worse. Communication, better. First touch, a tad worse, handling the same. Kicking is slightly worse, but eh, it's not as amazingly bothering. Plus that release clause is interesting. One on ones is better. Passing is better. Reflexes is better. Rushing out tendency is slightly different. That's more of a tendency than an actual better. Anticipation is the same. Composure slightly worse. Control concentration slightly worse. Uh, he is a bit younger, so there is a bit of an element of that. Positioning is better. Vision is a lot better. Much like Bart, he has very... He kind of reminds me of Bart Verbruggen, actually, with the vision thing he's got. Acceleration is low, and agility is low, but the eccentricity is also low, so I'm not... I think we have to try this, right? So they have a release clause. The problem with the fact that they have a release clause... All right, first things first, right? We just go and suggest terms like that. Because the problem we've got is because they have a release clause, it might be more difficult for us to do the priestess method that guy didn't have a release clause and you know what clubs are like when they have release clauses for obvious reasons um but we might be able to pay a little bit over the release clause in a mandatory loan fee that they might accept because it's higher or what if you can because you can't trigger a release clause with a mandatory option as far as i know anyway let's move along this guy is another goalkeeper 6-2 elvin ramadani Al and he's already an albanian starting keeper I think I've, I've obviously already scouted him once, but maybe decided it was too expensive because he's probably got a release clause of 26 million. That would indicate to me that he's got a release clause in there somewhere. Uh, interesting. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, as we know. Also, noteworthy that he actually would sign for us. We just can't afford him. Also, he's not as good as the other guy. Uh, next up, the Turk guy from uh, Gustepe. We know so little, right? He's a case of we have to scout and find out. But it's interesting. Okay, left foot. I'm liking what I'm seeing, but one thing I would say, because I can't even get a team report. I mean, I will get a team report on them, but it will go to the back of the list, of course. So we won't see it for ages. Uh, yeah, so we won't get a team report on them for literally six months because obviously I've got so many in the, uh, the pipeline. I mean, his finishing could be shy, or it could be 12. It probably isn't 12, let's be honest. But it could be. I have had players come through like that where there's such an enormous attribute range, but they have actually had the highest end of it. Very unlikely, though. Uh, there he is. He's a goalkeeping coach, as it goes. Was this the guy that Tom had to sign yesterday? Because technically he had sort of Tom in his name, even though it's technically Bartolmej Dragovsky. Needless to say, Empoli. Wait. Hang on. Why is that? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Hey, no, that min that Millie made about Tom's team was fantastic stuff. 321 caps. Yeah. Wait, him or the guy we were just looking at? Oh, you mean the guy we were just, the, the Turkish lad? You can prioritize team reports. Can you? Explain. I'd love to, I'd love to know, because that's really important information if we can. Uh, how do we do that? I, I must know. Yeah, they've been absolutely on it with the socials in recent showdowns, to be fair. It's great work from those guys. Because um, I don't know how you prioritize them. Is it in like... Oh, it is! Oh, I did... Chat, I've never even fucking seen this menu. I completely forgot this menu existed. Why are they all set to Callum Booth? Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Wait, why are they all set to Callum Booth? I definitely didn't set them all to Callum Booth. That's interesting. Because I've been selecting a random scout each time. And it's put them all to Callum Booth. Very. He's not our lead scout, though. Our lead scout isn't even him. Has he got an assignment? No. So I've actually sent it back to um, 
delegated it again because it was useless to us before. The grassroots guy with the 18 months. Thank you so much, man. That's very kind of you, my friend. Hope you're well. Also, Arakai, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, and um, Elenico Beef. I'm so sorry. I must have missed that. Is it a glitch? So hang on. Is he the one doing that? That is interesting. Uh, old Volta. That's hilarious. The <laughs> Voltaire, do you know you can try to syphilis two blocks from here? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow and Mikey as well. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, no. Yes, very soon. So basically, now. it might have been that. That might have been the case. Right, okay, this might be. This is interesting then, chat, because. So here's my things. Here's my things. When I was manually assigning assignments, this is what I did. I have now delegated them back to Tom Brady, but I do wonder if you're not controlling scouting. If you then do it, it will assign them to the proper scouts because they won't technically have assignments then. That's interesting. It's not what we can really do to test. That. Actually, there's a lot of things we can do to test that right now. What I would say is that I was still not. In, I wasn't in control of scouting when I selected the Gos Tepe one. All right, actually, well, it's simple. Let's find out. Um, let's go set an example of Real Salt Lake. I'm just picking a random team off the top of my head. Team report. Get team report from uh, Joe Gao. Okay. That's now done. So in theory... Maybe I have to progress a day or something? We'll come back to the next gen thing in a sec. Just want to progress a day, see if this works. Okay. We, we know that. That's fine. Um, but there's no other interest. That's cool. We'll come back to that. It's HJK. Right. Let's have a look again. I've also noticed a few times that it would just, like, not do it. Rail Salt Lake. Jo now they're all assigned to Joe Gao. Okay, so here's now what we've discovered. <laughs> this is fucking stupid, and I think this is a bug. What happens is, whenever you set a team report... It sets all the previous team reports to the guy that you've selected most recently. <laughs> oh my god. That has to be a bug, right? So that's what it is. When you select a new team report, it automatically selects all of them to the guy that did it most recently. Click on a scout's drop down. Uh, how do you mean? Which drop down? Huh. Um, yeah, so that's... That will be why you're not getting it, where it says all scouts. Yep. You can see. Wait, what? This is absolutely broken. So... Top right, yeah, no, I'm doing it. But like, this is mental. This is the guy that's allegedly Joe Gao. And if I go on to Joe Gao, it's blank. The fuck, man. Oh, dearie me. HJK report in the news article. That's a good question, actually. Yeah. So Jesus, right? Okay. So in here, it's saying that. Yeah, so in here it's telling me that he's the scout that did it, which is probably, presumably, the one I selected at the time. But yet, the, so basically what we're saying is the team report priority screen is broken. That seems to be the case here, right? It seems like actually the underlying part is working. It's just the, the screen itself. But I swear before, you could get more than one report. It's almost like this is blocking you from having multiple reports because it thinks that there's one guy doing it all when there isn't but you're still getting them at the same rate as if it was one guy doing them all. Because you definitely couldn't before. Before, you used to be able to get multiple per day per scout. Interesting. Let's uh, prioritize Gustepe while we're here. <laughs> Bold of us to assume that's even going to do anything, but we'll see. Um, so that's another broken thing in FM then. I know it's only a visual glitch, but like, come on. It's... It might, it might be more than that, though. I suspect that it might actually be... Yeah. One of that. Yeah, but it wasn't one of them before. That's what's irking me about it. Anyway, back to the next gen list. Uh, you're at Atletico, so ain't much we're really good. Whoa, that 
attribute range. Uh, Adria at Barcelona. Stand sort of stuff. Hey, Emu, how's it going? Oh, there's the... Uh, there's Inter's one. Now, he's quite good. It's dynamic. Yes, of course. Another guy here at Tigres. Solid. Actually, very solid. Lacks maybe a bit of the mental stuff there, but solid player. Um, already got a cap for Mexico as well. Vidal. They've got a new Vidal. Stan. <laughs> Lots of goalkeepers. Oh, no aerial reach on him. Stan Vidal. Oh, that's totally cool, Volta. It's just because um, the notification tone for followers, I had like a rotating set of them and it happened to basically say something in the notification that sounded exactly like your name, which was just incredible. Stan should have a flat cap. He really should, shouldn't he? Stan. It's just Stan. Badiane. Why well, he's not at a better talk? Yeah. <laughs> so I love that Dia, though, is on here. That's sick. I oh, like him a lot. This isn't where I my car. Xerox, thank you so much for the follow. I'll get all those other. Um, hang on, what's the team reports in there? Oh, shite. Uh, let's see. It'd be quite funny. Oh, what? Let me guess. He's got like a middle name that's like shite raw. Ah, no. Bradley Shitea Shiotomba Wanza. There you go. It is what it is. We, we have an answer. Usually we don't get an answer. Today we've got an answer. Caper wise. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, Hood. See if they actually have any players first. Oh, they do. They do at least have players. <laughs> Callum Booth, it's yours, buddy. <laughs> Hope you get this man. Hit me back just to chat. Truly really yours. Biggest fans. It's stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now everybody's off. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, this was that guy. Ngongang. <laughs> Which gang are you in, chat? Are you in Ngongang? Perfectionist personality. Solid. Not the quickest. Expensive as well. Two caps for Cameroon already. Favorite attribute in the game. Years gone by, it would have been something like composure. But now, honestly, jumping reach. Because <laughs> that just seems to be the meta this year. Jacozzi. Thank you so much for the follow. Nine work rate. Yeah. He's one of those strikers that's very well-rounded. But as a result of being very well-rounded, he's kind of not... He's got good on both feet. He's definitely worth... Oh, we're already scared. He's already on our list. Natural complete forward. Yeah, the problem is I found a lot of negative things about natural complete forwards. When they're com listed as complete forward so young, I often find that it means that they've kind of got a bit of everything, but nothing specialized. And it means that it's quite difficult to develop them in the way that you, you almost have to mold them, uh, which is not a problem. Ah, how has this guy now got four caps? He's such a weird player. I wish we'd been able to sign him at the time, honestly. Off the ball is decent too, yeah. Uh, James Manning, who is on over Man City, as per... Uh, this is that guy. I've looked at him a few times. I nearly tried to get him on loan from Dortmund, but I didn't think he'd really add much to us, really. He's quick, but I feel like all we'd be doing there is developing a player for them, and he wouldn't actually be amazing for us. Ah, this is Sanabria. He's that guy that we found a couple of years ago that we really should have signed when we had the chance, because we could have signed him. We actually had the opportunity. But then he signed a new deal. Let's just see if he's uh, now willing to talk. Yeah, now, now that he's got a new contract, he's doing that shit again, which doesn't make any sense, but we're used to that. Harlander. Fabian Harlander. Mum, we could we have a new, could we new have a new Holland? We've got Harlander at home. There can be only one. Um Carlos Besser. Oh, I actually looked at him. He's actually in we scouted him before. He's very good, obviously. But a bit beyond our price range. Oh, I can't wait to the day we can pick up guys like that, man. It's gonna be great. Sounds like it does a bit, doesn't it? Carlos Jimenez as well. Solid. It, 19 jumping reach. Uh, so basically, um, uh, Don Dando, it's uh, a system called uh, Nougat. It's basically, if you follow that link, uh, you'll learn all about it. But essentially, I'll give you the TLDR. They are AI-generated faces that look like real faces, but they're not. And there's a system that automatically assigns them to regens in the game that matches their ethnicities and nationalities. It's sick. Uh, it makes the save so much more fun when you're deep into it. Just hanging out in the freezer. Oh, hang on a minute. Yuri Yaros. This is one of the guys we identified before, wasn't it? Pacey. The composure is the worry. But. Hmm. I like him. It's That would be something that we'd have to look at. But. That pace. Yeah, it's really weird, Volta. Already scouting him. But I'm going to shortlist it. Let's just check his agent first. So he would want to come. That's good news. That's a good note to note there. Because he's 18. It's that speed and height. Speed and height are unbelievable connections. If you can get them together, they are unbelievably important. 
Plus he's next gen, which is always a good sign. Yeah, but I'm not sure how important Composure is this year because I've had so many players with extremely high Composure that just miss fucking everything because of the one-on-one -on -one system being absolutely broken. This is that guy again, isn't it? Grigoris Vlaseros. That deep line forward guy. You can train Composure, yeah. And if he's got... The thing is, he has 20 determination and a, probably a good personality, which would make me suggest that you probably can get that really up. 25. Who was 25? Oh! Oh, I skipped to the next page too quickly. That's my bad. Um, I just want to have a look through these ones first. Mazzinho. Solid. Pressing forward. He's fine, but he costs a lot of money. It's not really... Heading in with reach. I think heading is very important, actually. Um... I've had players with much worse heading. Sorry, much better heading seem to do better in the air than players who are just tall. If you can find both, though. Lovely stuff. Vensel. Donaiska Strader. Wow, we know very little about him, and it would appear that that's why. Yeah, I don't think they mean anything anymore, and it's such a shame, you know? Because it's... Like, I want attributes to matter to the things they allegedly do, you know? And this is the guy that was he's joining Bayern. We tried to sign him, but he chose Bayern instead. Imagine. I uh, can't really blame him. Brucic. Branko Brucic. Solid there. Passing's trash, but... Tell you what, right? Oh, he's on low from Porto. Damn it. He's actually very... He's kind of stacked as far as... Um, off the ball's a bit low. At that age, he's pretty solid. Injury compar... Uh, and he'd be worth loads in Porto as well. At Porto. What about this guy? Thomas... I tell you what. Tom FM is absolutely wetting himself with delight at this guy. It's Tomislav Tomoljanovic. <laughs> and he's not bad. Six foot six, chat. Six foot six, chat. <laughs> yes, we're um, from Ireland. And basically what we're trying to do over Alter is we're trying to make the Irish League the best league in Europe, i.e. the top of the coefficient charts, which takes a while. And we've had a few setbacks in recent years. So we're just having a chill stream today, trying to find some signings, trying to work some tactical stuff and just have some fun and some vibes, honestly. We just needed a break from the misery. <laughs> and we got a little reward, which was Bo's doing well in Europe. It's perfect, isn't it? Look at him. Tom Squad. <laughs> just re I'm just going to rename it to Tom FM at this point. <laughs> it's perfect. Ah, So, I like him. I think he might be one of those players that my scouts are undervaluing. What's his heading like? 12, 11, 15 tackling, positioning solid, bravery's good, aggression's not, like, outrageous. He's quick as well. He feels like one of those players that's being added 13 passing too, yeah. He feels like one of those guys that my scouts are... He feels like another deer, basically. He's way better. He might not be better than this, but he's certainly better than this. Um, Let's check with his agent. Well, he's interested for a start, which is key. Rather uncertain, but he's certainly wide centre-back. We don't use wide centre-backs because we only play it back to. However, at some point, if things go really bad, I might move over to the Tromsø tactics because that seems to work. <laughs> Technically. Sort of, maybe. Unless you're playing Volarenga. It only works, only works in Europe, uh, which is kind of what we've been missing, honestly. Born in midfield for me. Uh, what? Six foot six with 15 jumping reach. Why would I play him? Why would... Like, not every player has to be retrained if they have vague attributes that look okay. To me, he is a centre-back because he's quick as well. Um, he's centre-back all day long. He's perfect for a centre-back. But I do want to prioritise him a little bit. Uh, ball playing defender. He's got 30 passing too, yeah. And we do use ball playing defenders. Uh, right, we will... Chat, I'd like you to join me in a dance I like to call This game is broken Please fix it People are being asked to pay £35 for this per year Please fix this shit What the hell? So oh, Are you kidding me? Right, fucking Jesus Natural will be wide something. Yeah, of course, but natural role and player would work well in our tactic are not the same thing, um, basically. I've never been one of these people that subscribes to every player has to be in their natural role. Because also, you can retrain players to boost certain attributes to make them fit the role you want. And I just, yeah, I've signed a place for our tactic. Um, particularly, uh, right, I want to prioritize him. In fact, I want to prioritize all three of these guys. What? Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot you can't prioritize multiple assignments because this game was made in 1996. Um, ah, dear. God forbid you'd be able to prioritize multiple assignments. That would be silly. 
Any new signings? Uh, not yet, but we'll, we've only just started, really. We're just looking at next gen. Uh, this is the guy that we've already signed. So that's good. That's no problem there. Why is Tom FM there? It's a player whose both names have Tom in it. It's perfect. Check number 12. Wait, who's number 12? Ooh, ah. Prioritize him as well, right? What we'll do is after we've done next gen, we'll just go through and prioritize all the ones we want just so we get a bit more information quicker. I didn't see him for some reason. Uh, ooh, Al Sad. He'd be, hang on, I've already looked at him, haven't I? Yeah, he's already, he's still on our scouting rotor. Uh, Owen from Aberdeen, 19. Then again, we don't actually. Uh, he does. Uh, he's on loan from City. But imagine if we could get someone like City as an affiliate club. That would be mad. Been for half an hour. Have we? Oh, we actually have shit. <laughs> Signings, they don't just come overnight. It's another guy from Slovakia. Defensive winger. Or is he a wing back? I love it when I see defensive winger because that immediately means I can retrain you to play wing back if you've got okay marking. Definitely get a bit more information on you. Plus, he's playing regularly. 48 games already. Ortiz. He's pretty poggy as well, honestly. Yeah, Scottish leagues, it's because a lot of those players are going to be on loan from English sides. So they're getting a lot of football and thus they get bumped up the order. What about this guy? Josh Juma. Another centre back. Six foot. 13 jumping reach. It's not awful, but defensive wing back. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to have a wing back that can actually defend. Yeah. I don't like to retrain unless I have to. Oh, it's Haitian. Emmanuel Fouchard. I'd have to see a lot more information about him. He might be a good CA. Great technique. He's a bit of um. He strikes me as one of those players as a bit of a, like, a luxury player. But I do love seeing a player from Haiti. Haiti's national team must be getting stacked. Because that's not the first of these guys we've seen. What about you? Andre Novi. Now, he is a born midfielder. Because he's... Look at the versatility on him. Really interesting. Uh, you? He's Yokes. Wingback. Okay. Fuck it. Scout report. From Millie... Yeah, exactly. We've got to be careful still with that. Ooh! <gasps> Cypriot! Someone said they wanted to see a Cypriot. And here he is. Marios Cosmos. Three caps at six at 17. Already has 55 games for Limassol. Great balance. He's not really what we want, but... Fuck it, right? You'd love to see it. Andy Harris. Uh, ooh, Tunisian. Mohamed Ben Ali, who actually came through at Brumby. He's quite... He's all right. Like, we'd have to do a bit more looking. Ooh, hang on. Another... Oh, yes, please. Another Belgian. Rodrigue Ako. Oh, hello. Ooh, jumping reach is low, but that's fine. He could be a wide man. Crossing's not great, though, but it could be an inside forward. What's his foot? Oh, he's an inside forward, chat. We've been looking for someone like that that can actually finish on the right. Sorry, on the left. Dribbling. He's got the tent poles. Not the quickest, though. Definitely worth a look. For sure, though. Why hasn't he got a face, either? Weird. Uh, who else we got? We've got Ishigame. Hmm. He's a bit all over the place, really. We've seen much better Japanese players come through. Let's put it that way than him. Fenerbahce Wonder Kid. Now, nah, we've seen them quite a lot, if I recall. Uh, obviously, this guy, we already... I'm amazed by Krishinich. His value is enormous, considering how much we paid for him. Uh, he's one of the players that, when he came in, his value shot up through the roof. And he seems to have done solidly out on loan at Sligo for a bit. Koki Kawamoto is the king, of course. Plus, he's called Koki. What, what, what's not to like? What about this guy here, Moroccan? Azadino Uadani... Another keeper. Six foot. Good area reach. He's just sort of solid. He's actually not bad either. To be fair. I'm doing good well. I'm doing good stat line. How are you, man? Uh, Fajardo. Daniel Fajardo. Oh, I know this guy. He's basically the best prospect in, out of Ecuador at this moment. Um, yeah. You can sort of see why. He's solid. He's not magnificent, but he's definitely the best prospect Ecuador currently have. Uh, did I miss one? Oh, wait. I'll check. I say best prospect Ecuador currently have. He's fucking six foot two and has 17 pace. Hi. Hi, Darwin. It appears that through Darwinism, the strongest have survived. 14 jumping reach, 17 pace. Oh, hi there. The finishing, yeah. Solid. Well, the problem is... 
That shit. That absolute shit. Uh, oh, that was it. We had four guys on it, though. I'm not finished with him yet, though. We might well be able to still do our stuff, though. I wonder if we could... I wonder if that mandatory loan thing is a way of getting around it. I, I wonder if it, like, pushes through some... And I don't care if it does or not, like, in terms of, like... There's so many things wrong with this game. I'm happy to do everything I can to try to fix it on the fly. So I'm going to just prioritize all of these guys for the moment. So we can see. We'll have to really pay attention to scouting assignments. Just in case my scouts are idiots again. And dump a load of them really low. Because there's a couple of Ds in here who I want more information on. But I want to get them in the system first. God, there was a lot of guys from that. There's some real talent. Also, you'll notice the list is now down to under 400. Which should allow us to keep to really start to narrow in. Yeah, the playing time thing is absolutely uh, asinine. It's Craig Stick. Thank you so much for the follow. That is very kind of you, my friend. Hope you're having a great day. I, I understand the idea about playing time. Also, the, the sentence really needs reworking because it doesn't make any. It doesn't make semantic sense. It's it's a weird way of phrasing it. What they're saying is basically they don't think they're going to play as much with you as they are at their current club, which I understand makes a little bit of sense. But I've never seen one of my players go, "Oh, I don't want to leave. I'm playing so often." Like. I can pay you money, my friend. <laughs> I'd love it if my players went, oh, I don't want to leave, man. How do you get the different colors? Hang on one sec. Now, we've got to be careful of this as well, just in case. Last thing we need is them selling someone like the priestess. Uh, so what you do is you go up to here, and then you type in skin. Well, I do it anyway. And then you go skin colors. And this will allow you to adjust the attribute colors, which is what I do. And you can also adjust the thresholds for them, which is cool. Because if you're in the lower leagues, say you don't, you want to have slightly lower thresholds for them so you can get a better idea of who's good. That's how you do it. You can also change them for pretty much everything, but I tend to leave these all natural just because, oh, natural, you might say. Uh, but yeah, I always have these colors because in my head, it means I don't have to read the numbers and it's just really easy when looking through large reports, basically. Hey, Craig. Oh, thank you very much, my friend. That's very kind of you. Always welcome in the YouTubies. Hope you're having a good morning. Won't play as much for that team. Yeah, so that's the thing. It doesn't really work for you, does it? For the most part, I've never had the... I've never had it work... I don't think I've ever had it even work once for me. Because there's always better options. The whole... If you tell them that you're not, they're not going to play for the team, they always say something like, I need to better my career. Or something along those lines, roughly. Or, I don't think I will. I back myself, etc. So it's like, why are those players not doing it on the other side of that conversation? Uh, we're in the Champions League. You're in the Ecuadorian Premier League. You know, that's no slight on Ecuador. Great, you got the Galapagos, big old tortoises, wonderful news. However, it's not the top level of football, is it? Neither is where we are, of course, but still. Um, it's a shame that no one came in for Florian Vice. That has bothered me. Although, luckily, some Pats have not suffered too much because they've got Selgado banging in six and nine for them so far. Oh, dear God. More focus, good. Oh, less likely to bring... Oh, yeah, that's good. Long range passes. You've got really good passing, don't you? That's fine. Don't mind that, actually. Uh, Jibril Dia sense of loyalty that's actually good stuff for him argues with official that's less good who'd you get that from wow that's a lot of stuff a left back greek wonderkid didn't notice his media handling was still oh god what's it where am i looking this is not a skin i'm familiar with oh there outspoken short tempered and confrontational oh good god you've just signed jose Mourinho. <laughs> good luck <laughs> ah dear right uh oh I should stress as well, from like just stats-wise, the start of the season. Thai's freeze works even better in this two-striker system. He is unbelievable. He got a hat, and I wasn't all instant. I was watching them as well. Uh, the priestess is doing well above his staff, so he's started off the season really well. Emmett's solid. Millie again is just doing Millie things. Espen looks really solid too. Uh, Juanjo Diaz looks decent too. Danko's good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's already an icon. Is he really? Yeah, he is. I mean, I don't blame him top scorer in the league for us last season from central midfield and he's the top scorer in the league again this year mental it's good though uh they're still about happy with that that's fine ah here we go goes tepe i shoot it was this guy right what did i tell you it said between 12 and 2 and it's 10 that is a lot lot better than we thought it could have been the whole point of an attribute range is that it's somewhere in that range. It could be on the very high end of that range, or it could be on the very low end of that range. Yeah, but look at the value. Come on. We can't. Unfortunately, that's just way too much money for another striker that is not a position we need right now. We just can't afford him. 
Well, we can afford him, but the money would be wasted here, sadly. He is a bit trekky, isn't he? Yeah, but we just, we can't afford to buy him right now. Not with what we need right now, which is wide men, sadly. That's the problem we've got. Now, obviously, I'd make an exception for that Ecuadorian guy if he was actually available for really cheap, but at that kind of price... Like, we can't afford a, an £8 million. Pump. That would be more than the Priestess. And that said, I still want to shortlist him to keep an eye on him and watch his development because he's still 16, which means we could come back another time and he'll still be homegrown potentially. So that's good. Oh, God. He, Rooney would absolutely slay in this match. And who's Emre Usta as well? Speaking of wide men, 18-year-old Turk here. Problem with Turkish players, generally speaking, is that the prices are very, very high on them. So it's very hard to get cheap Turkish talent. Look, this guy here, 18. 10 million quid he'd probably cost, if not more. And that's the problem I have with shopping in Turkish leagues. Wait, what? New contract. You only just got a new contract last year. You can pipe the hell down, Admiral. Really? No, piss off. As if I'm going to give you, our already highest paid player, another new contract. Fuck that. Uh, right, what do we do here? I think we just have to go team leaders, right? He's already our highest paid player by a considerable margin. He wants more. Not happening. We can ask Millie, but I suspect he's going to do that chicken shit again. Uh, let's try it. Oh, okay. He did, in fairness, go for it. Good contract, so they're good. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Um, it's kind of like English tax, isn't it? None of them. Right, okay. This should be fun. Indignant. Much better player now than I... I'm sorry, but bullshit. You're already the highest paid player at the club. Let's see what he wants. All right. End of the season. No, fuck that. Earn it, dickhead. Sorry, but no. He. I was going to give him a contract at some point, but not yet. He. He. Do you know how much he'd want? He would want like 50 grand a week or something absurd. And I'm not giving him that yet. What is going to happen now is probably he'll try to get a team leader meeting and then I'll hopefully win that meeting and then he'll drop it and then we can ask him again later. That's the hope. Because I do want to give him a new contract, but on my terms, you know? That's the play. It is annoying though. Yes, this is very important. I was actually talking about uh, this on Twitter yesterday. I know, me on Twitter, imagine, but someone tagged me in a post and I felt the need to talk about it. You can always ask more players than you think you can. It will give you a suggestion here sometimes. However... If, if it doesn't work, you go into dynamics, go into hierarchy, and look at your team leaders. You can ask them. You can also ask uh, highly influential players. But not always. Sometimes you can, provided they... Uh, it was a... It was you, yes. Provided they're in a higher standing in the squad than the player in question, you can ask, like, other guys. Sometimes they might say no, so you've got to be careful. Now, obviously, it hasn't worked, but sometimes it does. It's it's crazy. Uh, I don't go about rapid. Uh, basically, the way I do it, does Fabri, is I don't. I try to keep the wage budget as low as possible. So if I'm going to give a player a new contract or I bring in a new guy, I want to make sure that he's not going to be on too much more than everyone else in the squad, because then that amazing that immediately means that they're going to offer they're going to want more than him with the next update. So you want to try and keep the wage budget as low as possible at all times if you can. You can, you can do it from the social groups too, but I suspect that we probably weren't going to get anything out of him. Maybe if I'd have done it through like, what is his social group? So he's in this social group. So we can ask SPAC and you can do it here as well. But I think SPAC's the only influential player. Wait, no, it's not influential player, is it? Or is it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Silver is influential. So I don't think I can ask Palinet Mate. Oh, I can. Occasionally it works. I have no real reasoning as to why sometimes it works, but it just does at random. Plus, the other good thing about it is, weirdly, if the meeting with that player goes well, so for example, this one, right? You can actually get a... Look, you get a morale boost just for them agreeing. It's really odd. So yeah, he said no to all of them again, but that's fine. We'll deal with that another time. But the point is that you actually get a morale boost from that player just by talking to them as well, which is kind of cool. No, he hasn't got a boat, sadly. Start at the end of next season. I could, but the problem is... Um, so, for example, if I offer him a contract that starts at the end of next season, he, that is a thing we can do. But if the price is still ridiculous, then it's not worth it. So let's just have a look. So we have a chance now because he's already upset at me. Star player. So obviously I'm not giving him that. That's bullshit. Um, once 
a big pay rise. This is what I mean. Stuff like this, I'm not going to do. I'm not doing any of this. And luckily, he doesn't care. 10 missed phone calls from Millie. Yeah, <laughs> we've all been there. Hey, Danny. Um, What we've been doing mostly is doing a bit of preliminary scouting and looking at team reports as well as next gen. So we've been going through that. He is very good, of course. But if he goes, if he wants like 30k, I'd probably push it. But I bet you he wants like 50. Or... This is going to be fun. He'll want like 50 grand. 43,000 quid a week and a 1.7 million loyalty bonus. Fuck that. He's already the highest paid player at the club and he wants an extra 16 grand a week. We can't do that. That's why I don't do these. It's just not good enough for me. And I know that that obviously wasn't the thing at the start of the next season, but it's just, yeah. Save money for a year. Yeah, no, of course. That's what I was saying, but... I still don't want to give him this contract. If I give him this contract, every other player is going to want double the amount of money they're currently on. It's not happening. Can I go shut this down? You can, but not really. Not by much. We don't have any leverage for international clauses. The best we could do would be like relegation release clause and stuff like that, which is not going to get you much off, honestly. Um, our best bet is to try again at a different point of the season because sometimes they just randomly want less. But I just wanted to kind of get a litmus of where he was at. I'm not going to offer a player a contract like that if I can avoid it because it would absolutely ruin our wage setup and that is not something I'm willing to do at this point. Yeah, loyalty bonuses are weird. Um, God, it's, I'm liking this though. This is a nice little setup we've got going here. Just want to make sure we don't miss anyone ridiculous while I'm doing this. Let's just extend it a little bit further down. I don't want to miss any of the guys we've just been scouting. But it appears that most of those guys are Flavius Sass. What a name. Great. Oh, there's Bart for Bruggen. Just chilling. That'll get rid of this little mob as well, which is nice. This isn't locked in the cell. Yeah, I don't know why my assistant would do that. It's bloody Regan. <laughs> is Bart forever gone? Yeah, he's back at Porto now. They've been trying to get rid of him for a while, but the problem is we can't afford his wages. Um, I, I did get in a situation with Porto where I could have loaned him back, but they wanted to... We couldn't afford 36,000. Well, we could, but it would have been a bit pointless for us to do so. Particularly because I'm kind of interested in that guy from uh, What's My Jiggy. How close was he to I don't think he was that close, honestly. Have we signed anyone yet? No. Um, other than people we signed last time. Oh, it's very challenging. I mean, it's even challenging here. Ask for wage contribution. Um, there ain't no way they do that. Plus, it's another... Like, I would rather go for the other goalkeeper that we're looking at from uh, Independiente. Wow. I wasn't expecting them to be players that are okay. Well, I'm looking like. Um, well, I'll show you when we get to the next game tomorrow. It's been around a little bit um, because I've been testing out the new guys a little bit more. And it's been working in fairness. Olympiacos, right. This is surely going to have some talent in there. Who are you? This is why I'm doing this type of scouting. As ice for the 24 months. That's two years. That's a full two years. -as. Thank you very much, Asais. Hope you're having a great day. He's very interesting. Particularly as he can play out wide as well. Right foot? Yes. Inside forward with that kind of passing could actually be really interesting with this system that relies on the wingers being able to pass a lot more. And he's got good physicals too. Six foot three. Not overly expensive. Comparatively speaking for the quality. He's interesting. I like that. What about you got? What about you? Takis Sarangianis. Inverted winger. Well, would you look at that? Olympiakos apparently just hoarding the exact type of players I want. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? So with these, I'm just whenever whenever one of these team reports was coming through, I was just looking for anyone that had high ability or high potential. And it's two more guys we just added to the list. It's gorgeous. It's a really interesting way of scouting this, but it's a great way of finding like Oh, shut up the board. Okay, so no senior club for us there. Unable to find a suitable club. I, I just... What is that stuff? Why even bother then? It just just say no to begin with. Right? I just hate stuff that just doesn't work. 442. I've We're playing a 424 at the moment. Loan farm doing. It's up... To, it's 20 loans at the moment. I think... Or is it 22? Uh, no, no... So basically, the same shit happened that happens every year where I had two loans agreed and ready to go out on loan. They then waited for a week for no fucking reason. The window then shuts and it cancelled them. They really need to fix that shit because that is extremely stupid. If the, the loan is there, 
Surely there would be a thing that would like, okay, the window's shutting, trigger the loan, finish the fucking loan. But no, that ha that's happened every year now. And it's really, it's costing us two or three loans to other clubs. Yeah, every year. Uh, so Maganic was going to go out on loan again. And who else was it? There was someone else that was going to go out on loan from our under-19 squad. Oh, wait. It was... Uh, fuck, I can't remember who it was. It might have been the Guerrero, actually. Needless to say, it was him and someone else. And the loans fell through for the second season in a row because of that stupid crap where it doesn't seem to give them the opportunity to finalize the loans quick enough, even though the whole point of a loan is it's quick. But what can you do? So, this is what I've been running in those off-stream games, basically. Just testing it out, seeing how it does, seeing how it works. And I must be honest with you, I'm liking what I'm seeing with it so far. I'm going to put Deer in for today, just to give him a little run in there too. And Danko and Spack. I've been rotating around the three. The one problem at the moment is that it's not giving Alaku a lot of football, but I have been bringing him on in here, and he's been okay in that role too. So we will see. Um, the one other change I made is I got rid of the wingers, and I've just turned it both back to inside forwards. There's so many players converging on this central area now, it's kind of interesting. And the, it allows the fullbacks to just whip balls in from out wide, and it's great. The one thing I might change about it, I know this was designed to be a shit system, is maybe turning off the shoot on sight thing, just to see if... But we also have scored a lot of long ranges doing it, so... Point is, it's working for us. A lot. Yeah, Fat is doing great. I'm so glad he got out on loan. That's really, really happy. I'm really happy with that. I was surprised, actually, that he went for it. Because that other guy we signed just turned down every loan I offered him. Despite demanding I loan him out. You know how it goes. Where they uh, come in, say you want to be loaned out. And then when you try to offer them out on loan, they turn down the loans. <laughs> what happened to Blad? Oh, he's still there. It's just that with the arrival of Benson, Blad fell down the order a little bit. Because weirdly, he has less jumping reach, despite being taller. Aliquin side forward. Maybe. We could do, but I don't know. I'd rather not because I don't want to have... I like to have players that can play across multiple systems. If we retrain him, I'd he will lose a lot of his ability down. I would rather have him still be able to use in that system because I'm not confident that this would do well in Europe for us. It, that's the problem. We have... But what I'd say is we're still winning games very comfortably in the league. The same... In fact, by more than we were before, but it might just be because... Oh. It might just be because weak opposition, really. But it's hard to say. One thing you'll notice about this, though, is that uh, Preotessa, the Priestess, he will gain rating throughout this match, even if he's not scoring or assisting, because I think it's because of the comes deep to get ball trait that he's got. He's so good. Hopefully, you'll be able to show that off today, but I really, really like him as a striker for us. If he was a bit quicker, which he's working on, he could be really, really good and exciting. But we'll see. I don't know if I want to stick with this tactic or not, though, honestly. We'll have to... Th this is what today's about, kind of. Seeing how it works in practice, that's a really bad pass. Because I do think against better sides, we would get caught out heavily. Uh, because it's so light in the midfield. It's... It's difficult. But we will see. The one thing is, though, when Thighs Freeze gets that free ball in the midfield, it's absolutely lethal. So in here, he will just find the pass. Like that. Priotes is through. Drops it to Doran. Digs over the keeper. 1-0. Um... Every single time Thighs Freeze becomes available in the central midfield, he just pops the ball over the top to one of the strikers and we score. Uh, it's absolutely lethal. And on this occasion, obviously, it's fallen to Emmett Doran. But any moment that Thighs gets himself free, <laughs> it's just simple ball through. I mean, the Priestess probably could have scored there, but it's fallen to the Emmett anyway and he'll get the assist. Hey, hang on. Thighs Freeze got the assist for that? No. Yeah, so th that's a visual glitch. Uh, the game does that all the time when a defender gets in the way. It's, again, I don't understand this game very much sometimes, but yeah. Dank is very big, yes. I think Dank is, what, six foot six? And he has really high jumping reach as well. This might be in. Eleventh goal of the season. He's got 11 goals already in the league. That's just in the league this season, Thighs Freeze. And I think four of them have been free kicks. He got a hat trick in one game as well. All of which were like... Set, not set pieces. I think there was two free kicks in there. He's just so good from a dead ball. Every single match. He's now what? I think he's got 11 goals and seven assists so far in nine matches this year. But you can see again from the types of goals we're scoring. They're not your sort of generic one-on-one -on -one chances. They're slightly different. Oh, see, that's... This is what I'm talking about. These kind of finishes from Prio Taser. 3-0 to Treaty now. It's, um... Interesting. These are just not the types of goals we were scoring before. We would always go through and always miss our chances. But now, you put Prioteza in a position like this, and he's smacking at top bins because of the shoot on sight, I suspect. He's just hammering it at them. Three says, yes. Um, his contract, I think, expires in like a couple of seasons, but we can um, we can deal with that. He doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to leave. We were getting bids from Dortmund, and he was saying, I have no intention of joining Dortmund. He's sort of turned into a bit of a Fernando Ovalar-esque type of player. Almost like future captain material. 
Choose with power. I don't think he does. I think the only trait he traits rather he has is um comes deep to get ball. But he's just very good. He's just extremely good. I I'm liking a lot of what I'm seeing from him so far because he gets goals like that that our other strikers weren't. He just gets in positions and he will just hammer that ball home and it's great. I think it's to do with the shoot on site. They're not taking that extra touch. They're just hammering it. I think he's three stars now. Right, Doran, where's the run? Diaz has looked solid as well since joining too. From a from an, uh, an assisting standpoint anyway. Or, oh, just wide. I think you're right, Slugs, honestly. Sometimes it feels like it. Hey, Jack. But look, three goals off of basically nothing because we're just... Yeah. Because the game doesn't value good quality chances. <laughs> it, it just doesn't. And it's a shame. But hey, we score, we score, right? This will probably go in now because it's a set piece. It's very solid, yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to giving Ackman a ridiculous contract if we have to. I would just rather avoid it, you know? Well, that's what I mean, Anarith. Because with the early crosses, those through balls you're seeing from our wide men are actually, according to the game, as far as I can tell, are crosses. Because we've had this situation before. I wonder if an advanced playing rec out wide again could work like we had before. Or a Trek, like we talked about earlier. That might be a thing. Maybe you're right, actually, about the Alaku thing. Because we did this with Cavalcanti, with Tromsa. And it worked. But that guy from Olympiakos with the really good passing that was a wide man, a wide man, a wide man, could be the answer to that on the left-hand side, maybe. Any decent signings? I don't think we've actually made any signings yet. Uh, we've just been doing the, the groundwork as always. It's difficult. But we found a few guys we really like, like that goalkeeper as well. Because I am a bit worried about El Barto at times. He could be a bit odd, make some strange decisions occasionally. Well, that's what I mean. Alaku as a trek out wide could work, maybe. It would, say, it, would, it would require less training. Isn't Trump's a wide playmaker to AP in AMR? I can't remember. It was... The, the old Trump's tactic was definitely a wide... It was an A... Yeah, you're right. It was an AP out wide. Because it was Cavalcanti that played in that role. Hmm. Oh, Vickers has scored. And Demiri. Both of our lonies have scored for Dundo. I should make some tabs here, shouldn't I? Espen's had a poor day, though. Why does it do that? Uh, ooh, I need to sort our bench out a bit more. I might put you there, actually, and then sweep Alexic in, because Millie... We'll have a look at Mihai after the game and see what he's like, like, attribute-wise, for that role. I might get some... Um... Wait, did I just bring... Oh, bloody hell, it just... It just glitched out on me, didn't it? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. It's super annoying when it does that. I'm going to get um, Novakovic on for a bit. And the cart for deer as well, just because we can. Well, there was a way that you could do it. Back on old FIFA manager, you could actually put... You could play the matches. You could take the disc out and put in FIFA and play the games. It was very strange. Test it out, advance forward. Yeah. We'd need to have someone that can play there first, though, and that's the problem. Like, Alaku has no familiarity. Oh, here we go. Prior test is in. Okay, see, those are the types of chances that do not get scored on FM this year note that because it's so obvious now the more i see it they just don't get scored um but if he'd have just been slightly off kills there then he probably would have scored but it is what it is right that's why you have to think outside the box and try to create chances that aren't like that <laughs> it's a shame though because it does kind of go against everything i know about building tactics but what works works right novakovic diaz ackman come on pops it in alexic is head over the bar Two destroys. Oh, my apologies. I didn't. <laughs> don't know about you, Gro. <laughs> Just lucky. I you get them occasionally, but from what I've noticed this year, they get scored far less than they should do. Basically. They just don't. At the very highest levels, maybe, but if you're anything above below that, they just don't get scored. At the rate that they should do. Solid. Overperformance, a little bit underperformance there, but it is what it is. We got the result. We might try it, honestly. We're gonna lose a sh we're gonna lose a really good year anyway. It might be worth it to just try it something out. Uh, great to see Dundalk doing really well though. That's good. I mean, it's working for us. Through balls to one on ones, pretty much. Yeah, it's one on ones when they're central and the goalkeeper doesn't come out fully. It's just yeah, twelve straight, good stuff. You notice the amount of goals we're scoring too, with the exception of that game. It's it's good. There's just more goals in it because they're actually getting chances that, okay, they're finishing because they're not the traditional chances. That's my opinion on it anyway. 
Marking is a little sus. He's all right, though, actually. Oh, he's already on the list. Cool. What about you? Fanuris Papadopoulos. And so many centre-backs. He's very... Oh, no. That was not jumping reach. Good physicals, but I don't think he'd be worth the money. Scouting up there. Okay. They will not stop bringing me Delirio Barbosa. It's ridiculous. That's the guy from... Uh... Wow. Okay, hang on. It's going to get the reports on these guys. Because they need more information. But this guy here, Vukatic. Surely he's a signing, right? Were we actually allowed to sign him? Or is he NA? He's not NA. Crossing dribbling, solid. Speed, solid. Fairly professional personality. Reasonably high determination. Uh, right foot, but we use wingers. I don't actually, I'm not minding so much now. He's not North He is not North American. This is can confirm. Sky, thank you for the hundred bits. Decker for the fjorge UP Titi or the Odi Copper. It's true. If you had better players, you think the shit tactic Unfortunately, I suspect that the shit tactic will always be successful in a way because it creates chances that the match engine likes that it shouldn't for me. I.e. long range free kicks, Papa. long shots. Chances where there's loads of players in the way for whatever reason. Um, slightly weird angles. Uh, headers, stuff like that. Oh, another! thank you very much for another 100 bits, guy. Oh, 101 bits. My apologies. I think we could, we could go here. Plus homegrown, right? And I kind of like him. Oh, yeah. No, this is absolute no-brainer, right? Okay, they're being a bit hardball here. That's fine. You know what? How about that? There you go. Done. I think he probably could play for us, in fairness. But still, if he does, then it's worth it, right? Hey, Inferno! This catch the train in 20 minutes. I, uh, well, I mean, I'll do my best, man. But, you know, you know what I'm like. I'm also just as forgetful as you are. <laughs> but we'll try. We'll put a note in game. Funny you could put timer-based notes. <laughs> Everyone's just setting timers on their phones just for Inferno now. It's the kind of level of service you get here. So this is that Greek guy again. Who honestly as a Trek would be kind of filthy, to be fair. It's just the, the release clause is just so high. St. Grimmy with the six months. How's it going? Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Hope you're well. True, yeah. Yeah, I could just say that out loud and everyone's timers would get set. Yeah, the, the problem with him is the release cost is so high. It's just not worth it to us at this point for that. What about the Alessandro? Wait, was he... Oh, he's NA. Oh, he's NA as well now. Everybody's NA. But I like Vukatic. Even though it's only a C plus there. I don't trust that at all. Uh, but I'll keep these guys around. You guys, anyone? Actually, I don't want to miss anybody as well. So if you do see a name of one of those guys we were looking at, let me know. Because at this point, I would go down to like here, and that's where I'd kind of draw the line. But obviously, I want to have a look a little deeper just in case. Uh, Vidovic, he might be one of them. No, this is, they've not come through yet, have they? He's all right, actually. 27. I might get a bit more information on him, actually. I kind of... Goalkeepers I can be a bit more flexible with. What is it specifically in the tactic? So basically, the tactic prioritizes early crosses, set pieces, shoot on sight, because that's cr get you more long shots, whipped crosses, so they're just kind of there. And that's basically what it does. It's more pass heavy. So the idea is basically it creates shit chances, and then they get converted into goals. And in great numbers, it would seem. It's it's not exactly um, champagne football, let's put it that way. But it, okay, okay, good. That's good. They want the loan back. I'm afraid I can't do that because he's 18 and he will turn 19. And we need to, oh, wait, hang on. Will he turn 19 before he joins? He won't, will he? No. Yeah, so he has to be no loan back for you. You know what? Yeah, literally I am in this situation because it's just, I had to basically find a way to make the game work how it should well not even how it should because how it should work is that i reckon right if you went back and looked and took an entire season of one of our seasons or even multiple of them and looked at the xg quality for the goals that were scored you would notice that they'd either be tappings like really really high xg tappings on the line where there's no goalkeeper but it would be the middle ones that would be missing 
I suspect that the breakdown would not break down as evenly in like a bell curve as you would expect it to. I reckon there'd be a dip with the medium quality to high quality chances, i.e. one-on-ones that are worth about 0 0.30 to 0.5. That seems to be the biggest issue when it comes to one-on-ones. Those kind of value chances seem to be saved far more often than they should do based on the XG values values attributed to them in the match engine. That's my point. And I reckon at some point I might have to go through and do that analysis because I'm curious to see if that's actually how it breaks down. I suppose they've got games in hand, I think. They've got two games in hand because they've had all those extra European ones. It it's interesting. I'd like to see a breakdown of that. Anyway, squad player, I could probably get him down one more, right? Yeah, that's cool. I don't mind paying him a bit of extra cash because if we can boat him, then it's, it's no war off my back. Plus, he's Serbian, so... National team, like, is a realistic opportunity for him, but it's also... Oh, fuck me. What am I doing? It's not likely to happen immediately anyway. So I think I should be able to smack him with a full... Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Interesting. That's surprising. That's a lot of... Did I accidentally do like five games or something? Maybe literally one. All right, I might do a four year with a three year boat. As long as we've got the boat, that's what matters. Yeah, that's fine. Getting the boat is more important than having that extra year on his base contract anyway. 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. One thing I will show you as well in a minute is some of the sheer numbers of shots we're having. So there was one game in particular. I think it was the Derry one. Where I think we had like 50 shots or something nearly. No, that's not the one. But look at the output. Even with this tactic, look at the fucking output there. Uh, four XG in that game. I think it might have been this one here. It was like, f maybe not 50. It was like 46 shots in this game. Now, a lot of that is going to attribute long range bangers that are going nowhere. But they go in enough, perhaps more than they should do, that, you know, literally you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Every time, oh God, you'd be, you'd have alcohol poisoning. Uh, it's a much higher quantity of shots. 22 nil. By players. Well, he wasn't a uh, loan farm player. He's one for me that I think actually could play for us. Um, at the moment, I'm really not bothering with loan farm because I, I think that was our biggest mistake. He's quite interesting. Wow. Oh, he's 33 though. I I'm just done with loan farm for the moment. I think we started working on that far too early. And as a result, it set us back so much. We need to concentrate on us being good before we can help the others. Because if we're not... We're at this point, the, the real best hope for Ireland to get XG... Uh, sorry, XG. Coefficient points. And if we're not doing well because we're prioritizing other sides, we have to stop doing that. We can always revisit it. But now that they've got a base of those teams, it'll be fine. But we need to prioritize ourselves for a few years, honestly. Because otherwise, it's just not going to work for us. We can't get better if every player we're signing is not for us. So we need to really prioritize them. So that means there's going to be less signings, but they're going to be of higher quality and probably cost more too. Just how it has to be. Good to see that happening though. Really pleased. Right to Dream Local looks like Red Nose Day. What, what club is... Hang on. Is it just Right to Dream or have they got a different name in the game? It does a bit, doesn't it? It fully does. <laughs> Do it with water. Hey, take a sip of water every time Treaty so take a shot. Mm. Hey, Magnus. Bournemouth and Forest. Yeah, I, I was gutted for Forest in the end that Bournemouth equalised. Because I was just like, if we, if us losing this helps Bournemouth not get promoted, then I'm all for it. <laughs> hey, Malteser. I caught a bit of your stream yesterday, thanks to Mike's raid. How's that going for you? Nacho Perez. Good. Oh, hang on. It's Fouchard. Right, okay. So I'm starting to slide through now. You need to really pay attention to these scout reports because they're starting to come in. So Fouchard now. Did that even give us anything about him? Or it might just be the initial one. Needless to say, he's definitely worth a look. So we'll keep the scouting on it. Ah, there's Fajardo. Yeah, Fajardo's fully scouted now. But who's he wanted by? As always, a Paris Saint-Germain. Kiefer Moore, though, I know. But he wasn't scoring for you anymore, Ian. Like, you can't be happy for that. No. Dead at Fulham beat Sheffield United. I mean, maybe. I think they're Fulham need to kick up the arse at the moment, really. Because, I mean, I still think they'll probably win the title. But it's like, come on. Do something. You know? <laughs> oh. They still could. In a game of hand. I don't think 
I think they have the same number of games played now, don't they? Uh, so we've... My scouts are now... I've now moved all of our scouts back to default delegating scouts. Because it, what, what we were doing before just wasn't having any effect, unfortunately. Oh. Let's ask his agent. What did he say before? Okay. So my point is, if he signs for PSG, then this is bullshit. Because he's not going to play for PSG, is he? Let's try it. Fuck it. He's got no release clause. Let's do loan with an option. I'm curious. Mandatory future fee of a million quid on a two-year loan. I want to see if this works. He's not interested, but that doesn't. I mean, that's not bothered us before, has it? Hang on a minute. Let's just see how much they want transfer-wise for a second. Oh, and now I can't. Technically, yes, but it requires some absolute madness. It's because our goal difference is so high. It would require something of, uh, but it's technically not mathematically confirmed as such yet. Uh, this guy's kind of interesting. I kind of like Rodrigo Arco, and he appears to have a, uh, and would talk to us, most importantly. He wouldn't, but he's interesting. Uh, I can't do much about this, can I? I'm just going to have to... Oh, no, I can. No, I can. That's weird. Okay, so let's try this again. I just want to see how much they want so we can try to take that into account. Ah! That's why, because he's got a bastard release clause. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to trigger that and see what happens. Um... You are wanted by... Uh, is everybody just wanted by PSG? Let me guess. You don't think you're going to get the playing time. Not proposed to join a club at this stage in his career. You're playing in Morocco. You just... Why? I mean, obviously, you're born in Morocco. That'll do it. But... Hmm. 26-year-old Serbian. Markovic. Cheap. Could be solid, actually. More information required. Ooh, a guy at Bolivia. A Bolivian side. And another Romanian. We do love a Romanian in these parts, don't we? Akko is the one that I'm very interested in. I like him a lot. The speed is the one thing that could let him down if he played him out wide, though. But as an inside forward, who was the guy with really good passing? Was it Akko? No, it wasn't. Who was it? There was a left-sided guy we were looking at who had outrageous passing attributes. Akos, thank you very much for the follow. Honestly, if um, Forrest hadn't had such an insanely bad start to the season, they'd have probably won this league. If they hadn't had the start they had, hands down. Uh, yeah, you're right. It must be further down. For the moment, then, I'm just going to get reports on all of these guys again because they're all really solid. Thankfully, we know a lot about a few of them, so we'll go with that. Uh, wasn't him, was it? These are that news report. I, mean, I still want reports on them, but I don't think that was those guys, was it? So what about this Romanian lad? Okay, interesting. Central midfielder. Oh yeah, it was. It was Olympiacos, wasn't it? Of course it was. <laughs> There's Tom FM. Doing his thing. Steve Cooper's done... Yeah. Did he not win Manager of the Year? If so, how? Oh, there's Arche. He's very intriguing too, to be honest. Get you back on there as well. I quite like some of these guys. Cosmos. Ah, uh, there's just so little. I want more information on all of these guys because these are all clearly guys from the next gen thingy, and they've just not given them a chance yet. I think at least another round of scouting is worth it, right? Doesn't think we get the playing time he's looking for. Okay, so it's about playing time, is it? Okay, cool. Watch him join PSG and then never play because it's about playing time. So next stage then is wait what? Oh, I have to walk away first, don't I? Wait what? Now can I do it? Oh, I have to go a day again, don't I? No, independent goalkeeper's not come back through yet for some reason. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Right, now I should be able to go through. So now, so it's 1.1 million was the release clause. So if I now offer a mandatory future fee of 1.3 million, so it's higher than his release clause. Life is weird, man. Just comes at you fast. I 
yeah, it's it's that particular thing. It's the playing time thing, the this stage in my career thing that have really sort of bogged this save down. And I don't really know why it happens because it's not happening to me at Tromsa. And I don't know how much more we have to get before that stuff just stops being an issue. I've not had a single player say that to me since I started managing Tromsa. Um, so I'm curious as to know what they think is acceptable, honestly. Give wages. Oh, yeah, true. I might have to rethink that because I think if it's it could be the wages, you're right. Okay, so Vukotic is coming in. Hey, chat, we did it. We made a signing. We've done it. Marco Vukotic. I like him. I don't think he's a world beater or anything, but, you know, I think he has enough to maybe offer something to one of the other Irish sides if we need him to, or he could be useful for us. You know, I'm all right with that. Aris. Okay, so we're, we're up to G now. That much we do know. Any good standout players at Aris? I guess it's because these guys weren't even available in my scout reports before, and that's why they've not got faces, because they wouldn't have shown up in the player search, so bear that in mind. Well, yeah. Hey, that's not bad, honestly. Considering this isn't really a designated transfer stream anyway, because we're outside a window, it's more of a chill one, uh, which is something we don't do very often, but it's, you know, I mean, it's worth a little look, I suppose. No one's really standing out to me. What about you, Sinius? Deep line foot. Wow. Oh, the price, though. Hot damn. He's on a lot of money, actually. Lots of caps, too, in fairness to him. That's why we can't afford him. Danko deserves Slovakia. Does he really? Oh, good. <laughs> in fairness, I always... Didn't he have 19 aggression before? I swear he had 19 aggression before. But hey, you know what? You do you, bud. He is the most aggressive man in Ireland. get to this point it hasn't happened to me at Vassas yet so, yeah there must be something underlying that's causing that to happen and it wasn't a thing that I was noticing last year on FM so it's obviously something that they've changed that's broken okay interesting in there hopefully it will change at some point but it is making it very difficult to sign players I wonder if we're going to be like at one point like Champions League winning side and there's still a guy from like Bolivia that's like no I just don't think we're gonna get the playing time there it's like oh okay cool then I'll join PSG weird Quinny thank you for the six months Hope you're well. Oh, dear. From boys in Senegal and New Zealand who are on no contract. Yeah, I think it's just utterly broken, honestly. And it's just embarrassing, to be fair. Like, if you're one of the best clubs in world football, there shouldn't be any barrier, really, to prohibiting you to signing a player. Within reason, right? At that point. Um, who's he? Ah, he's one of those. My scouts really like priority, like really like rating these guys extremely high up. Um, I like he's he's fine, but he's not like wow, you know. Oh, by the way, do you remember I found a guy a little while ago called Frank Shubia, that Cameroonian left back who we had the exact same problem with, um, that was ridiculously highly rated on his like CA. Uh, I just had to Algeria. I don't know what was the guy's name? Ganem. Um. He's just so good, isn't he? Directly talk to us yet. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, just oh, make a working game. Like, oh, that's funny as fuck. At this stage in his career, you're 23. Like, what, what stage in your career are you talking about? It's just such bollocks. It just seems to be a way of stopping you from having any kind of development. And I don't, and there's no like logical thing I can see that actually is the reason for it anymore. Oh dear. <laughs> We're just disappointed. I am both, to be fair. Ooh, Brankovic though. He's kind of good. And again at Mladost. Tuvik fell off. Well, I mean, you say that, but he's still bloody good, isn't he? You're on loan. You're some quite good players here, actually. Yeah, it's just, but you look at how many times. It's the same players. It's just like, but, and I wouldn't care if that same shit applied to other clubs, but it clearly doesn't, does it? Um, it just used to be random nations. It's like it doesn't update a lot of stuff in the background. So if you start with Ireland, you're always going to be considered shit, even if you're really good. And that doesn't make any sense. Um, let's see. 
So there's so many good players in this one specific report as well, which is awesome. I agreed, Jinx. And it's the same exact thing with me. I mean, I buy copies of the game every year anyway because I give them away. But if I was getting it for free, yeah, it's legit. Hello, Pogs. How's it going, love? I think Pogs just got the uh, August weekend off so that we can go to Treaty, which is sick. Um, although, you know what? I'm not. Maybe I shouldn't go to Treaty. I don't think I want to move there at this stage in my career chat. And I think I'm perfectly valid, apparently, in saying that, right? I think you'd agree. Uh, Marcel. Wow, this is a really nice little bunch of players. Vasily Gochea. Hmm. Okay, there's some good quality there. But, but yeah, look, this random here. Uruguayan guy, he will talk to us. What is special about him that he will have a... He's actually really fucking good. Okay, I like him. But why will he talk to us? But the... I don't know. I think we may have to prioritize trying to sign... It feels like once they hit... But look, this Nigerian guy here, but he's at Wolfsburger. It's really weird. Dynamic, 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 yeah. How's the team doing? He's doing fine. Um, it's Munoz. He will talk to us, though. 18-year-old Mexican. I just... He's not actually that good either, but... I, what? I wish I... I don't mind when there's um, certain things, if there was a logical pattern to it. I.e., X is the case because of Y. But the problem is, there doesn't seem to be that logical consistency. Obviously, there's something there, but I don't know what it is, and I've yet to be able to figure out what it is difference in living standards but ireland as far as i know in the game has like the highest of all the economic stuff right so that shouldn't make any that shouldn't make any difference as far as i can tell anyway and then why would it be some players but not others like what is the thing that's causing this guy to want to talk to us and this guy but not for example this guy here interesting yeah but romania romanians bloody love me the romanian players in this save have been fantastic love them can't get enough of them at this rate. Wait, what the hell happened there? Oh, good. It did that thing where it didn't select everything. <laughs> See what I mean? Just randomly not selecting stuff. But that could be the skin, in fairness. Uh, where's this keeper, then? I haven't seen him yet. Has anyone else spotted him? I've just yet to see him. Uh, li that would be Limerick. Minarello died. Oh, that's... Well, obviously, that's terrible for, you know, any person. Whether you like him or not, it's not really the point, is it? Uh, but again, that's probably speculation. Well, wait for some like uh, actual confirmation of that Albanian guy here oh is it young boys in fairness players ambition is that <sighs> maybe I mean it could be but then to me it feels like it's more often than not Do you, know if there's a you get that problem man soon? to me oh, yeah, so very soon. okay if that were yeah, the case that it's about not. their like uh, ambition or adaptability if it, again the, the bell curve breakdown should still be that on average half of them should come it's clearly not on average it's roughly I would say 90% won't. 10 to 5 to 10% maybe will at a push. True Sash, thank you so much for the follow. So that's sort of my, uh, not counter to that, but rebuttal, if you like. Uh, he's not interested. Doesn't think he'll get the play. Wait, hang on. They accepted it. Okay, so they accepted it. Right, so we've got a starting point here. Chat, I'm going to try and priest test this young man. We now have a starting point. Uh gotta wait the next day right i guess our next step would be declare interest right uh no there's, there's some, there'll be some d's in there too because i'm still technically scouting other players as well uh, i'm trying to remember their names but i don't think those guys were worth looking at uh oh shit uh can i go back and look at the hollow wall before we do anything else am i allowed to do that yet yes i am okay cool my next plan is loan offer it's interesting how it's not do you remember when before we got it to a point where it was randomly defaulting to a certain valuation and that's what caused it to work like we'd go in here and it would just randomly see look it just defaulted to his, his release clause let's see no interesting and all i did hmm. it, okay in the meantime we're gonna try this thing again because that's something we definitely did last... Hang on, look. Unwilling to move is expected to reject any advances. But remember... Do you remember last... I was actually watching this last night in the VOD because it was funny as fuck. When we'd already basically agreed the contract with the guy. And then the news article said he was rejecting the move. Even though we'd literally already signed him. It was great. I'd like... Even if the thing provided context. If it said, I don't want to join you because X, Y, and Z. And those things were actually tangible factors that you were able to influence in the game. Then fine. 
by all means, brilliant. Because that gives you a roadmap to what you can actually do to potentially sign that player. But at the moment, it's just ethereal bollocks that doesn't mean anything. It's just no, because game said so, you know? And that's not fun, is it? I always like things to have meaning. I'm one of those people that just everything has to have a reason. Because it's a game and there's code. Meaning that something is there that is causing that. And I want to know what it is. <laughs> I'm always interested. Now that leaf, I'd be more than happy to cook him spag bowl, let's be honest. Uh, bro, so Priyate, hang on, I'll do a selection advice and I'll put him back in again. Because I just love him at the moment. I might try... Okay, we have Millie there. And Palanik Mate back in for a bit. The Carp and El Bato. He did? Ah, oh, okay. Right, that sort of not confirms it, but like, have we got a proper source for that before we start? Not mouthing off, but like, you know what I mean. Uh... Okay. Change your factors. Yeah. Just simple stuff. Your vibes are attractive. My vibes are fantastic, Kermit. How dare you? <laughs> Zips angrily. Yeah, actually, maybe we should give Vostrek a try because it's a cup game, isn't it? So maybe Vostrek instead of Emmett. I'm trying to get all four of them some football. But since he's joined, he's already gone from being down here to being second on the list. And that is a big sign. He's developing already. And that's intriguing. Watch how badly Vostrek does in this game, by the way. He's a man that just sheds rating for no reason, and I think there's a real problem with that, and I don't quite know what it is yet. Maybe it's his height, I don't know, but then... Oh, no, Priyateza is actually quite tall, isn't he? He's like 6'2". Oh, what did I just press there? Hands together. Where's Ovala? He's about... Alice! Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, my friend. How was stream? How's things with Wrexham? We're just trying to break the game again. You know, normal people stuff. Let's do that shout out. Because I imagine Inferno's on the train by now. And if he isn't, ha, I got there first anyway. Hey, Alice. Do not like, yeah, it's stuff like that. Heartbreak, oh no, you hate to see it. As we, d but I'd love to see that. Players get off the plate at the airport being greeted by, maybe it is the Harrow Bishop, yeah. Uh, so basically, ED7 is that highly rated again because a lot of that stuff comes from form. Once a player reaches a certain point in their career, the star ratings are often dictated by form. If a player goes on a ridiculously good run, you'll notice their star rating will shoot through the roof. What a weird finish. You lost the Champions League final to Man City. Ouchie. That is... Can I get an F, Chato? If you're near a keyboard right now. I think we need some Fs. How's your day going, Pogs? We, we will comfort you, Alice, with Fs. If that helps. I can't imagine it does, but we've all got an F, you know? Look, look there you go. Look, I've got an F. Tis did. Oh, you'd love to see it. <laughs> Red arrows also works, yes. <laughs> I do love those emotes. Go on, Diaz, drop it across and... Prayer Taser does it again. He is just very good, isn't he? He is just very fucking good. I think by the time the Champions League rolls around, he'll be like three and a half stars in this team. I, I love him so, so much. He actually scores chances for the most part. Ah. But also, one of the benefits of having a winger there as well was that they weren't cutting in. Oh, no, they're inside forwards, actually. But I think they go slightly wider as a result of the um, fact there's two strikers. Bamble missed that. Oh, for sure he would. Vosrex through, right? This is a one-on-one, -on -one, which I expect to miss. They just... Yeah. So that one, those ones don't go in. Um, but that's what we've come to expect now. So we don't want to create as many of those if we can avoid it. <laughs> Big tackle on him. Right, Priotesa. Little interchange here. Oh, that's poor. Back through for freeze. Bangs it. But those ones do go in. And now you understand my thesis chat, right? Are we getting this now? This is my point. Those shots go in. Ones where they're really close to the goalkeeper, where they're actually through clean through. Those don't go in. It's 3 0 to Treaty. Great goal from Thighs Freeze. Um, lovely assist, actually, from Vostrek. Great hit from the Frozen Thighs. He's just unstoppable. Ah. Uh, they're our affiliate club. We should be kind of mean. Shouldn't be kind of mean to them. More creative roles and so forward. Maybe. And we need less of we need less like scoring out of them as well because we have two strikers then. Did not quit the club. Like, yeah, you never want to do that. Um I think five threes might score again here. <laughs> this man is an absolute This is what I've been telling you. Thighs Freeze is an absolute monster in this team. 4-0 in the first half. Thighs Freeze with another brace. How many free kicks has he scored today alone? Like four? He's ridiculous. There's no prize no, no prize money at all. That's mental. But you can see, once again, we're massively outperforming the XG because the chances we're creating are lower quality, ergo 
yeah it's it's a state it's a sad state of affairs but it seems to be the case now i'm believing more and more that the, wow dundalk was seven nil up in the first oh not again surely not oh he nearly scored another one what a guy other than ppm tries to get forward um i believe well for example you can use things like get further forward as a player instruction on the player so that will be definitely a factor millie with the cross this time oh just wide from diaz We're doing all right here. His set piece, delivery, and scoring is just filth. What a pass from VAR. Oh, it's not a great pass at all, actually, what we're talking about. Hopefully, there's a chance on the end of it still. Bend it like freeze, exactly. Beckham's got nothing on him. And also those through balls he can do sometimes. It's not worked for that particular occasion. But when he does get a free moment in the midfield, he's so good at picking out one of our two strikers with those little runs through. Now, obviously, they don't score them all the time because, you know, they're strikers. But still, Freeze for Juliet. Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat, still. Because as good as Freeze is, he's not in a position to score those in every match. Um, but that nearly went in. Yeah, I haven't broken it. I've discovered how broken it is. Um, if a tactic that prioritizes bad chances wins games more often. But I want to see how it does in Europe this year. This is a good experiment for us, I think. Taking this sort of tactic into the Champions League and seeing what happens with it. It's certainly interesting. Because I we did play this system very briefly against Dortmund when we were a goal down in that game. And we did actually score while playing it and looked a lot better. My suspicion is that could be... Yeah, the early crosses. Well, we actually do have early crosses. I do wonder if the whipped crosses is the one thing that I'm not so sure I like about it. I think that could be... Also, look at Tortosa's rating now, by the way. I'll get the... I'll get Milosevic in here. And maybe Alaku for... We were going to have... Remind me after the game chat. So, yeah, because look. I think we need to have a look. What foot is he? Right footed. But he's got left foot on his one as well. Light skiller passes. I'm going to get Alaku on the right for a bit today. Just to try him out. If we're going to use a right back now. Yeah, I know. But to be fair, when your right back's as good as ours, you can't not use him. He's absolutely poggy. And I'll get uh, Espin on the left hand side for a little bit. Just turned up with a fat sausage roll. That is good news. I wish mine would do that. Pog. <laughs> Benedict like these. He does it with the T's. That's more like it. Better free kicks. Oh, yeah. No. Janino is probably one of the greatest free kick takers of all time. Like, hands down. But has he... Janino still has a picture of Fires Freeze on his wall. Right next to Roy Galvin. Surely. That just goes without saying, right? Ah. It'll be very interesting to see how this functions in Europe. That's what I'm really excited and also worried about. Because it's quite a risk to take a, an unknown into Europe. But it does do very well for us in the league. And it seems to perform better than... See, the crosses, again, you have to almost create... If you want them to finish those chances, they have to pretty much have an open goal, which is good, and that's what we've got there. But I do wonder if the whipped crosses thing is still not maybe the best decision. We could still do, like, floated crosses, but our strikers aren't always the tallest. It's a great crossing from Ackman, though. Keeper probably should get that, let's be let's be honest. Feels like Flyers Freeze is just a man of the match in every single game these days. He's just so good. He's right out on loan. I don't think so, no. Sadly, no one else wanted him on loan, and I feel bad about that, you know? Uh, uh oh, is this on the edge of the area again? I'm just going to sit back and watch. This man! The other thing about it, chat, is because we're playing for set pieces, it creates more opportunities like this. <laughs> this guy is. What are they doing defensively there as well, by the way? It's another one for Thighs Freeze. Is that a hat trick on the night again? Second hat trick of the season from him. I think mixed crosses is probably the right choice, actually. It would allow them at least to pick the one they want. Which is kind of what we've used in the past. So 6-0. Hatchet for Thais Freese. Uh, and an assist as well to go with it. He's the top scorer in the team this season. And it's understandable why. He's ridiculous. Ah. I love him. I think... I don't know if they listen. At the end of the day, we don't really have that much influence when it comes down to it, really. Um, because if you think of the overall FM player base, I imagine a very, very small subset are the ones that actually watch FM content, at least. And a very, very, very small subset of those watch my, people like myself, who I feel like I'm quite outspoken on this. And Z. Well, to be fair, thankfully, Z is quite outspoken on these things because he has a very, he has a larger influence in our sphere. Much important when the Champions League get. It wouldn't be surprised, would it? I'd feel less bad about it then because we gave them a good crack in both games. 
in fairness. Kind of dead, yeah. And like, there you go. And we've got bloody, we've got our own one. So I'm going to turn off. This is what, this is what today's about, us testing this sort of stuff. Right, so Alaku. If we're going to play him out wide, we can always do a personalized role for him. Which side? Because he can use his left foot. But would it be better if he's on the left, cutting him from the right? Because then he can bend those crosses, those like early crosses through, which is what I've seen a lot of. That's the thing. Whereas on the right, he wouldn't be able to do that. But... He has both. Th yeah, but his right foot is very strong. Um, okay. So if we were to retrain him on the right, then luckily he already has a little bit of a... Should we just keep him on Trequatista? That way at least he's not losing his overall... Then he'd just be familiar with the same functions. Just he'd be able to play that same role on the right, maybe. I, I, that's what I think I'm going to do. Because look, he's actually got really solid physicals there. Because that way we won't actually upset his overall development. We'll just keep him... He'll just have the ability to play it from a wider role instead. I think it would also be a way for us to get him to play more. Because I don't want him to start kicking off about not playing. Because he hasn't been really lately. What I might do is just start playing him there for a few games and see what happens. But do we play him there as a Trek or do we play him there as a an inside forward? Uh, Mothfehava. What we got? Anyone good? Hmm. Banai. There's another centre back who looks all right on the face of it, but probably wouldn't. Oh, Barna Major. He's one I've looked at before. Also, there's that striker I found, the Stanislav Garnis. His stats is for a Trek. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, but that's why we've been playing him there. But the question is whether I... What the fuck? Uh, right. This is interesting. Okay. Okay. Right. Now Now we're talking. Now we actually know what their... Uh, their point is. This is key. I'm a trainer. Uh, not since the last time you asked, which was, I think, like 10 minutes ago. We still have... Oh, actually, that's not true. We actually have for once. Um... Who did we sign? We signed, um... Oh, he hasn't joined us yet, has he? Because he's... We're not actually in a window at the moment. We signed up uh, Vukotic for, like, what was it? 250k? Which, you know, I think he's fine. He's solid. Plus, actually, if we are going to use wingers out wide, he could probably do a job there, honestly. Little John. I'm not sure. So with this one, at least we now know what they're working with. So i am accept that. And now we'll see if we can force it. I, I want to see if we can force this again. I still don't know how we did it before. Not prepared to join the combat decision of his career. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. What I want to know now is whether it's going to default to that when I come back to the question again. So it looks like it. Hey, maybe he's got Indian family. We don't know his life. Uh, ooh. Mahali Varga. Ah, he's worth a look at just because of the price, I'd say. Uh, oh, Bartosz training well. That's good news. Anyone training poorly? Falconals. Oh, yeah, he's still a pissed at me. He'll get over it soon. Yeah, so I think it's, there's a different guy who's in the new contract situation. And I think that we'll have to wait for his report to try that. Go watch him. Uh, well, we've, we've designated him top target. But the problem is because he's in a... I don't think his game, his team will have any games that we can actually go watch. We can have a look. But my my prediction would be that he's not playing any matches. Like, that we can actually see. Yeah, so they haven't got any scheduled matches. So it would be hard for us to go. You can't go watch him unless they actually have, like, a... What we can do, though, is... Do, like... Oh, no, I can't do that. Because we're already scouting him. Sometimes you can send a specific scout to watch them for a set amount of time. And that sometimes helps as well. But... Yeah, we can't do that there. Uh, right, okay. Let's do this again. Bring ED7 back in. They love putting Vostarek in instead, but like for me, I still want to give Preotazer a nice run because I'm really enjoying his work so far. Uh, right, what do I want to change for this one? I want to do Alaku right to see how he does. What's your hoodie? It's a uh, forward Madison one. That's an interesting point, Sean, but my guess is you'll get the... Um, they just won't appear. Or they'll... They'll say no. I've had this happen before. We could try it, though. That would be quite funny, actually. Uh, in fact, I haven't even thought about that. 
Can you do it from here? Ah. Uh, there? The board won't sanction it because it's too far away. And my guess is they'll say it's too far to travel. Yeah, that's the problem. Yes, no, I, believe me, I am aware that Mino Raiola has been... Has sat has passed away. Uh, don't need to at me about it every time. I I promise you, I'm aware of this information. <laughs> Sweet left foot. Thank you for the 23 months. Oh, good lord. We One, wait. the beginning. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and at which baby? Ten, eleven, twelve. Our one year anniversary. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, and I deposit on our house. Oh, yeah. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is where we are right now. One more month until our two year anniversary. It's been a pleasure. Exactly. And you need to tell me when you're available next month properly so we can finally meet and kith <laughs> and break the world. <laughs> yeah, I might try. We could do like a personalized instruction on him, maybe. Uh, yeah, that, that friendly ain't going to happen. But we could personalize Alaku here. Oh, FM, please. Little kid. Yeah, little Here's kid. a fun fact. Voltaire contracted syphilis just two blocks from here. I say we could personalize Alaku, but the game has decided to not allow me to do that. Also, I've just realized I haven't got autosave switched on. We really do need that. Just in case. Constantly forget that. King Banana Dong. What a great name. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a great time at the moment. Like, yeah, we're just testing some stuff out, really. Trying to, as usual, trying to break the game a little bit. The fuck was that? Right, is it going to let me click on him now? Right, good. Personalized roll. I want Shrekotista attack, because that's all it does. Now, that will... The problem is you can only play a Trek on attack, and I wonder if that might mean that we might have to move Ackman back to support. We'll try it for now, but I think that might make us a bit too heavy going forward, potentially. Why not have it on in the first place? Wait, why not have what on in the first place? I've missed something here. What in the first place? Oh, because when I'm doing um, my Tromsa videos, I save them at the start and the end of the episode. That way I've got reference points for them. If I had autosave on, it would constantly fuck up all my autosave. It would fuck up all my, like, uh, archiving of the saves. So if I need to go back and check something from a certain point in my YouTube save, I can go to the episode. So I'll save it. Like, look. Um... Oh, hang on. Uh, obviously, it's not going to do it. So, look. You'll see here. That's the start of the episode. That's post. So, it's before and after the episode. That way, each time, it's like a new save. Just in case I have to go back and test stuff. That's the idea. Oh. Big man. Appreciate what you do and the community you curated. Thank you, sir. I hope you are well with the scene. I am, I am well with things, Chuck. Yes, I am. I hope you are too well with things. How did the esports thing go? Probably favorite of all time. Probably Brian McBride or Breda Hangeland. I'd say so. Hey, nicey. Now to put the odds on. I want to see what Tom's odds are. It's <laughs> we. So the only way we can truly find out Anexius is if the next time someone resubs, they tell him to say, "No, Michael, this is so not fair." <laughs> then we'll know for sure, right? Okay, let's try this today. Dundalk is not the best like testing ground for this because they're a better. Actually, it probably is the best testing ground because they are a better side. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong screen, aren't I? There we go. Let's try that. I love that they've still got Martin Gregerson. That makes me happy because he's bloody excellent. Hey, Sky! Thank you very much for the 199 bits now. Oh, we are on a hype train. So we are. It's the second harp train of the day. Yeah, that one earlier was absolutely outrageous. Hang on, it was a poor man's Senderos. Senderos is a poor man's footballer, honestly. Um, <laughs> like... He was just useless at Fulham. Absolutely dreadful. Um, you think he was bad at Arsenal? You ain't seen nothing. Briefing? What? Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't really say that, does it? Uh, going through this it's going to help. Oh, sick. Well, there you go. Right, this is the thing. There's no, like failure or like negative things can always be great because it gives you data. You learn a lot more from things not going right than you do from them going right all the time, really. Um, as we've done in this save recently. <laughs> Like, we've, we've learned about the way we need to restructure ourselves a little bit in this, and it's good. Like, you, you learn a lot more from things not being perfect. Right, okay. Be curious to see how Alaku does. Do you know what I have, Ice Warrior? Do you know what I have? Yeah. 
Just since everyone was at Villa. I totally forgot he even played for Villa. <laughs> He's just a man that continues to let everybody down in a row. Who did he go to after Villa? We've got to check with their fans. Sit with me. You know what, Scott? Pull up a bed. <laughs> as long as you bring me a sausage roll, I'm easy. Good finishing there. Top quality. Looks permanently confused. Yeah, he did a bit, didn't he? Oh, God, Betroglu. Ugh. What a waste of time. Just in general. Music's like, yeah, I agree. Pascal Seagan. Oh, my God. That's a blast from the past. And, ooh, okay. This is a much more difficult game. So this would be a good little indicator for us. As to how. Oh, I got ball in. And Millie. And straight at the goalkeeper. Standard. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, one thing I've noticed, actually, is in certain... Wow. The Brown's pump. just through. Cooper, take off the <laughs> Why is this guy? <laughs> Jesus. Shankisu, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, Avolta. We do like vibes. Usually the vibes are chill, except when we get into Europe. Then the vibes are very much tense. That's a really good stop from El Barto there, by the way. Don't look pretty solid here, which is concerning. How's Alaku getting on? Mm, rating's not great, but we'll give it time. Oh, dear. That's not what you want to see. Losing headers like... Are you joking? He's nowhere fucking near him. The guy's like six feet away from him. How is that a yellow cut? What? He's not even close to him. So coming back to match engine. Good. Uh, I'm waiting for Spongebob text from someone here. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. Someone has to do it. Uh, right. Uh, hmm. There you go, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Brian Ruiz. What the f*** was that? off so rudely there i rewind i'll show you in a sec uh, let me just sort our defense out a little bit uh with no good fuck it it's obviously not gonna play there but i just want to see who we've actually got on the bench that can play there uh let's see oh i know what we do we move cheers game we move carp across thankfully carp can play on both sides and then we put deer on there it's annoying but what can you do <laughs> it's okay the vibes remain good Volta. Luckily, it's a league game. Uh, right, what was I going to check? Oh, yeah, the rewind. Hang on, let me just uh, do that, and I'll show you. So, basically, what happened was... He says rewinding the game extremely slowly. So, right, so here. This is... Our player has just been sent off for this. Right, ready? He's, like, six feet away from the player. He's fucking... What has he got, like, tele telekinetic hit him with the <laughs> hadouken from distance <laughs> well alright then uh good he, when you're playing a set off for using the force okay I'm gonna clip that because that's going on tiktok later <laughs> he's scaring him good lord through the water bottle he's throwing that chair he's kicking the chairs chat Yeah, I don't know if the Trek out wide is the right idea, but maybe an advanced playmaker out wide could do the trick for us. Carpy boy. Oh, over the ball. Oh, an RDF now coming to the raid. You just missed it, my friends. We just had a player get sent off for using the force on someone. You might think, yeah, you're exaggerating a bit there, Matt. Not really. We're just going to bring this one back for you. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, you come at a perfect time to show you our uh, mythical force-fed red card here. This is good times. I could just click it, realize, but, you know, rewinding is more fun. It's full Benny Hill, this, isn't it? Right, okay. Feast your eyes on this, friends. Player running down the wing. And you think to yourself, okay, cool. There's a fair amount of distance between these guys. Watch him now use the force to push this guy Hello, over. Awari. Hello, Chateau. Brilliant. Red card for that. Good stuff. This game is definitely functional. <laughs> Cheetah, thank you so much for the 20 months. That's very kind of you, my friend. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope stream went well. How's things going? Get that shout out going as well. Hopefully I can do this right. Hope. Hopefully that's right. Oh, dearie me. 
You're a map for ACP? No, 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 no. We stream in 1080 here. To learn this power. I want that bloody um trait. Uses the force. Wait, we're not back to live now, are we? There we go. And we're back. Ah, oh, dear. It's good times. This is totally functional and nothing's wrong. He was just flipping him off. <laughs> oh, dear. Luckily, it was only a yellow. I mean, maybe it's don't, don't, don't you bring 2D into this. <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. We don't do that here. <laughs> he seemed to be motivated. Did you? Don't get sent off then, mate. I, whenever the whole thing with stuff like that and 2D is brought up, my always response will always be the same thing. If the match engine is fit for purpose, there shouldn't be that big of a disparity between the two. <laughs> like, if they are that working and ready, then they shouldn't be that far away, should they? Um, 4D, though, I agree. Sky, thank you for the 100 bits again. He <laughs> wanted a new contract. Bias Reese is about to score again, by the way. Uh, nothing. Coming up here, 14th goal of the city. Oh, oh he's in. He's actually scored. Up in that four stroke, true. He did know what he was doing. I saw that little chokehold. I saw his fingers flexing from here. We're actually winning, though, with 10 men. Because there's 10 men OP. Thighs freeze, of course. Who else was it going to be? That would give us 10 for 10 this season, which is pretty good. I know, she's become completely sentient. I might, You might agree, right? But no, thank you so much, Adia, for the raid. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Uh, we're just sort of testing out... Basically, we're testing out a shit tactic. And what I mean by that is... I'm trying to prove a point that I believe that the match engine favours bad chances. And I'm trying to prove that with making a tactic that only creates bad chances. And so far, it's working. <laughs> and that makes me sad. Oh, ooh, good ball. Yeah, Bows aren't having the best season. I think they've got a bit of a hangover from their European run. Now, they do still have two games in hand, which were they to win, would send them all the way up to, like, fourth. And so it's not the end of the world. They'll get there. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, long shots, set pieces, um, shot, like, headers that are from weird places, shooting on sight when they're inside the box so that they don't take it so close to the goalkeeper, all that sort of stuff, basically. Corners, obviously. That kind of general gist. And it seems to create a, a decent amount of XG, but it also scores way more than it, like, creates, which is normally my tactics do the opposite of that. Uh, right, so Alaku's been trashed there, and I think that's a bit of a failed experiment, but that's fine. You live and learn. Let's go Alexic instead of Millie. He needs a rest. And Prio Taser's not had a good day either. Tactic less shooting. Oh, no, no, no. Much more shooting. <laughs> Lots of extra shooting. Playing for set pieces. Trying to force, like, low-quality chances, basically. Like, variable different... Right, here we go. Alexic smacks it first time. Hits the post, but on the rebound, it's put in. <laughs> Hazy! Thank you very much for the nine months. Matt, tell me how to fix a broken striker that can't score for nothing anymore after 25 and 20 goal last season, lol. It's funny you mention that because that's exactly what we're trying to do right now. Um, and the answer I'm starting to come to the conclusion is just have them create bad chances. Um, well, hey, there you go. But I'm just saying, from my personal experience, I've noticed that strikers don't score one-on-ones enough. And I've been trying to find a way around it. Because no matter who I put, no matter where I do it, no matter which tactic on which save, it's always the same thing. Um, striker with the best possible attributes is way better than his league. Nothing. Just goes through on goal, saved, miss, saved, miss. It's just tedious. So I've been trying to figure out a way around it. And I think we're getting there, honestly. Yeah, Ackman has improved dramatically. That's annoying to concede the goal, but it happens. We're down to 10 men. What do you want from us? I probably should have rotated a bit. I think Bows are winning too. Don't use a poacher. Um, We tried a poacher actually at one point and it did not work. Wait, red card? Yeah, no, Juliet was a bit different because he was so much better than the league that even it sort of outweighed it, I guess. Uh, round keeper, I've noticed absolutely zero change with having round keeper on players because most of the time they don't round the goalkeeper. That's that's the simple fact of the matter. Having a PPM on the player doesn't force them to use the PPM and thus, if, it, if they don't do the PPM, then it doesn't matter whether they have it or not. That's the biggest problem. Served to improve contract. <laughs> True. Not when he wants like 40 grand a week though, sadly. Can't offer that. Wait, who's getting sent off now? What's going on? Help. So doesn't under they're actually missing one on ones isn't a problem. Of course it's a problem because if the striker is... Okay, if you design a game where 
high quality chances are missed consistently and low quality chances are scored, then it has no basis in reality. Like the whole reason XG works is because it places a goal value, like a value on a shot. Meaning that say a shot is worth 45, 0.45 XG. That means 45 times out of 100 statistically that shot goes in. If they're only scoring the 0.1s and not scoring the 0.6s, then there's something very wrong with that from a technical level is the point I'm trying to make here. Um, and also they are underperforming their XGs. That's what I'm also trying to prove. <laughs> they, they are emphatically doing that regularly too. Um, and there's the issue. Uh, so let's yell at the players. We move. Oh dear. 71 goals in the season. Well, I mean, Emmett Dora got 65 goals for us in that season too. But then that was prior to a lot of the updates that came out over the last month or, or month or two. Um, that's our first not win of the season. I blame the red. Uh, it's TCM logo pack that I'm using. If you do exclamation mark logos, you should find the answer. Actually, could be. I mean, it's very dynamic. I mean, technically, it is dynamic. That's the point. But yeah. Uh, so let's do some yoga to chill out a little bit. <sighs> we need that. Vostrek. Not great. Uh, when he gets a chance, he misses it because he's a striker. Uh, and therein lies the problem. <laughs> Sadly. It's a, the, the biggest problem with Vosterek is that he's a striker. It's really holding him back. Ah, oh dear. I remember the days when Emmett Thorin got 65 goals in a season. And then just didn't anymore. Ah, those were the days. But yeah, it's, it's TCM logos I use. Um, just because... Oh, that was weird animation glitched out there. Atwin's banned. Right, now I get to yell at him at least. Yeah, it's definitely something that's changed since the, not the last update, but the last few updates is what I mean. Um, it seems to have got progressively worse throughout the year. At the start of the year, it was great, but it has definitely taken a turn at that point. Unsporting personality. I think we have one guy. Most of the time I try to avoid that. Oh, I can't. Well, I can. It's weird how sometimes it doesn't prick i don't care what you're hey maybe if you tackled a bit better you wouldn't have got sent off <laughs> he's been sent off and he's like well actually my tackle stats were great uh were they though managed to get booked twice didn't you in the first half an hour <laughs> now to his credit that second one was the force so in fairness i'll let him off for the second one. Ah, oh, dear make a valid point no Oh, God, no. Can't say that. I love how I don't have an option here to say, you got sent off, you wallowing bagpipe. Like, seriously. Why is there an option here to say, he got sent off? He just told me to go to the opticians. Sneaky prick. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> he's mugged me right off there, chat. He thinks, he, should, he thinks I should praise him for getting sent off. Accepts it's fine. Wait, what? <laughs> He's indicated that he could do his utmost to improve. Mm, maybe he could do his utmost to improve his attitude as well. Has he got, like, mercenary by any chance? Fairly determined. Hmm. Determined to be a whopper. How are we doing, Honved? Not Hans Gruber, though. Oh, he's a real player. Fucking hell. He did fully just um actually us, didn't he? Sad times, my friends. I've never been told to go to the opticians by a player before. He got a 6.3 as well. Also, hang on. Right. Determining in it. I want to know now how many, what his tackle completion was. Considering he was only on the pitch for 33 minutes. What should be one tackle? Uh, how do you get to the, here we go. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I'm being petty. <laughs> he made one tackle. <laughs> True, fair, hundred percent record. I can't. He's not wrong. Like, it's a hundred percent record there. <laughs> So he's just had a go. He gets sent off. And I have a go at him about being sent off. And he's like, hey, I had a perfect tackle, right? I was like, mate, you got sent off after half an hour and made one tackle. 
Yeah, how did he get booked the first time then? Like, what did he get booked for then? If he lost the tackle? Like, <laughs> also, that implies that the second one wasn't for a tackle either. <laughs> Which we both know was, tr we all know is true because we saw the force. But what, did he get sent off for the first one? How do we see the first booking? Uh, I want to see his first tackle. Keep the ball away. Which reckon he was mouthing off. Which, maybe it was another force tackle. Right, so there he is. In what way is that not a tackle? Like, does that mean that if you try to tackle someone and fail, that doesn't count as a tackle? Or a lost tackle? Um, does that mean that the stat tracking doesn't work for... If you get booked, it means it doesn't... But you're still, he still tackled him. He's just committed a foul in so doing. To tackle to do a big assault. I, I, I think you'll find he very clearly tried to tackle. He tackled the player. <laughs> Didn't try to tackle the ball. <laughs> ah, it's the game is fine, chat. There's nothing wrong with Football Manager. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, where's that goalkeeper? Damn it! <laughs> that was funny. Maybe that was the referee just making up. Oh, hang on. Wait, this guy's come back. Okay, I liked the look of him before. Foul equals dead ball. Dead ball didn't count. I guess, but it's still a tackle. You failed to make a tackle. A foul is usually a tackle of some sort. Uh, let's see. Any more? Where's that guy gone? No fouls are not tackles. But then... But that... I mean, if that's the case, then again, that makes no logical sense. Because half the time when a player is committing a foul, they are trying to tackle someone and they miss the ball and make a foul. Now, admittedly, in that situation, he's clearly just tried to hack him down. But, um, yeah. Where are these other guys? Got a chance. How do you lose a tackle then? Well, that's my point. Yeah, if you've lost a tackle, that means you've not got the ball. So, how does one lose a tackle if... if <laughs> that's why he's got bloody perfect tackling. one successful tackle oh it did yeah but my point is that but there was none that the tackles lost one was zero so he didn't apparently lose any tackles tackle is an attempt to gain possession of the ball for an opponent pulling your opponent's shirt pushing or barging or automatic fouls since winning the ball isn't tough hmm okay it's interesting that the game would actually have that to be able to track that stat it's still fucking dumb in this scenario though when he can seriously sit there and say that he that's uh yeah interesting Point is, the game's still fucking stupid if I can't talk to a player. If I can't yell at a player for being sent off. <laughs> there are only tackle lessons. Nice. I like it. Hey, Clip, how's it going? He's playing. You're scoring, Tobias. That's quite. No, that's my point. The game can model that, and that's fantastic, but it can't fix simple things. I realize that actually that's a false equivalency because they require entirely different teams and entirely different code. And some problems may appear simple on the surface and may not be underneath. However,. I'm losing my ability to say that, I think, from time to time. Ooh, wow, 33. Oh, we're playing Shamrock. Okay. <laughs> Being a dumb mother father. I mean, to be fair, that is part of the game. <laughs> you can yell at him in team talk. Uh, what? I just, we, as we've just proven, I cannot yell at the player. We've just tried that. If you do it in the team talk, that doesn't have any effect. Not in the way that you'd want, anyway. What more do you want? I mean, true. This is where in the next game we go look at it and everybody lo didn't lose a single... Actually, good question, right, Jen? Did anybody lose a tackle in that game then, right? It stands to reason that obviously he wasn't on the pitch very long, but someone would have lost a tackle throughout this match if that was if it was tracking it properly, right? Presumably someone did. Yep. Let's have a look at what this lost tackle looks like. I want to see what it looks like in the game. Many signs. Uh, yeah, a couple. Well, one, really. Did anyone see him win the ball cleanly? And that counted as a lost tackle, despite us maintaining possession of the ball. Because 
Carpenty puts a tackle in and wins the ball, and it goes into our possession, and that counts as a lost tackle. Did it go to the opponent? Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't see that. We just end up in possession of it. Hmm. That's actually fair. Right, we move. Oh, another one. Wraith Flick. Go on, show me something good. Whoa, they have a lot of players. Anyone good, though? Still, I mean, he, he, the tackle he made, what took the ball, obviously it went to the opponent there, but it, it, he did make contact with the ball for the player. It's interesting. But that's what I mean. Yeah, if you win a header and it goes to an opposition player, you've still won the header. Interesting. Yeah, if you tackle the ball out of play, is that a lost tackle? Huh. He's literally good. He's, he's actually good. <laughs> oh, good. It's Vulcan again. Every time I see him on my reports, they just constantly bring it through. He has tackled but lost. But he didn't technically lose the tackle because he won the ball. He, he successfully reached the ball before the opponent. It's interesting. It's probably because the ball's stayed in play, so the game has to go who... The game probably bases it by which team has possession of the ball after the action. Ah, dear. Uh, yes, it is, uh, Volta. Yeah, well, at this rate, it certainly will be. Um, given how long it's probably going to take us to make that happen. Task failed successfully. Exactly. Uh, this man's called Ibrahim Asori Kater. You can't go wrong with a name like that. He's never at fault. Well, actually, he's always at fault, but he's always happy to, you know, hold his hands up and be like, you know what? My bad. And I'm fine with that. Okay. Where has that goalkeeper gone, though? The Independiente guy. Look pass. Well, in that case, it shouldn't count as a lost tackle, then, should it? But yeah, it's... It's probably one of those things where, once again, it's like, you can only measure what it can. It's still interesting, though. At least that stuff works. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't know. Every time with the the Volker thing, they just will not stop. He's not by, like, shortlist anything anymore. He just keeps coming through. It's just how it is. Golly was fully scouted, was he? Yeah, but I still... Even if a player's fully scouted, you can still get a one-week scout report on them. This is really actually quite important to our scouting method at the moment. You can still, like, for example, if I got a player that's fully scouted, you can still offer a one-week scout on them, and they'll still come through your scout report. Uh, let's have a look at him. Can you remember his name? Elbart is, yes. I didn't actually shortlist him at the time, did I? So he's going to be in here somewhere. Unfortunately, you can't uh, sort this. Oh, you sort of can, but it... Right. Ah, wait, there he is. No. Wait, what? I have a note on him. You're right. And, oh, you're right. It'll come through in a couple of days anyway. Do I have a note on him or don't I have... No, I thought my note was on the um, Ecuadorian chap, not him. I'm fairly certain my note was on the Ecuadorian chap. Let's just look here. Oh, he is there. I do have a note on him. Oh, I must have made two notes. Imagine that. Me, thinking ahead. Scouting and pro... Where? Independiente, this guy. So where is he then if he's scouting in progress and I've sorted it by club? Oh, of course it doesn't work properly, does it? Ah, I forgot that this menu doesn't work properly either. Because of course this one doesn't actually allow you to sort things properly. It will just randomly insert things that shouldn't be where they are, essentially. Do not hate me. I should have forgotten a shortlist. over 600 dance moves and I am programmed to get freaky. Uh, no, that's Bastos. Was that him? No. Just trying to find a guy who's on the shortlist so I can just pop him up to the top of the list again. It's a shame there's not much more you can do with that. Wouldn't it be cool if you could go to the player profile and prioritize scouting from there? Wouldn't that be sick? Right, we do that. There we go. Oh, dear. PSN Galda! Thank you so much for the follow. And we're doing a little bit of cheeky Hulk mode while we're at it. Lovely. A Danish guy called Svenningsen? Maybe. Olympiakos guy. Um, I wish I could find him. Although we could just go to Olympiakos and try to do it from there. But there's not much I can really do. Because my guess is he's probably still being scouted. Was it this guy? Shibakis? Yeah, it was. And he's still scouting in progress. Wait, what? If he's scouting in progress, why have I... To the Croat. Uh, which Croat? Dynamic scout. Well, you know what I want. I want I want scouting priorities to actually... You to be able to assign the priority yourself when you select it. That'd be sick. Juliet. Uh, oh, Lord. Oh, uh, how many goals has he got this season for Man United? 17-25 in the league. I mean, he's so good, isn't he? He's just... This is, this is the kind of striker that you can actually have that will score goals. That's kind of what you have to have, basically. I mean, look at that. 26 in 12 when he joined us. Mental. 
Striker, the one on loan. Uh, which one? We have a lot of strikers on loan. <laughs> if you mean, um, oh god, who is it? Unai Alonso, the one at Dundalk. He's doing well. Centre back Croat. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he'll come through if he comes through. You know, they're all they, they were all scouted by us at the start. So if they're there, they will come through at some point. Sometimes the order gets a bit mixed up though because of scouts having to go and watch them and stuff. I just can't believe that. 26 goals in 12 games when he joined us. And he was absolutely fabulous. The price that we got for him is just saddening. The six foot six lag. Yeah. So what, Tom FM? Oh, yeah, he's there. He's being scouted again. Uh, He's here. This guy. Like, he's decent, but we'll, we, I just want to find more information before we actually... Like, we're in no rush with him because he's 19 anyway, so it's not like a big deal for us to get there quickly. If he's good enough, we'll get him. Only just signed a new contract. Uh, that was the... I don't know who that was, actually. The one on loan. Okay, now I'm not sure who you mean. His name is obviously not Tom Fed, No. <laughs> His name, I can't, his name has Tom in it on two different places. The Romanian striker. Uh, we've got him already. We already signed him. Like, we signed him in last stream, I think. Well, not even think. I know he's been playing for us all day. Oh, sorry. I completely blanked on that. Sorry. I thought you meant, um, like, a new player we were talking about. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's my bad. Um, yeah, no, he's great. Like, really, really good. Wow. Their national team is tiny. I kind of wish you could get team reports on this screen, but no. Who's the youngest player? Wow. All within a very specific age range there, aren't they? <laughs> Stephen Christopher, he's blatantly retired. He's so good in real life, though, for Treaty. There he is. Retired at 33 after leaving Drogheda. It's a shame he left so early in this save. He was so good. But there he is. Oh, uh, Wayne Rooney. He's still Hearts manager, I think. Yep. Doing, I mean, to be fair, he's done a bloody good job. He's been there. Well, he's only been there for two years, in fairness. He was at Derby for such a long time. Wait to sign. Uh, that's the guy we're looking at from Independiente. That's where that. That's probably what I made that talk that thing for. So we'll have a look at him in a minute. Once he comes through again. But yeah, you're right. It was him that was about. He was the contract one, wasn't he? The contract warrior. Hey, Stephen. Oh, there's Gerard. Oh, he's just retired as staff. Wow. Uh... Bit weird. Just randomly retired. Just killed it. Just went, nah, not bothered anymore, mate. Uh, let's see. Jordan Larson. He is, unfortunately... Hang on, I might just do this from another screen. Sometimes that screen bugs out. Am I spelling Jordan right? Because I'm just spelling it how I was told. Ah, that's a shame. I'll, I'll give you points back. Uh, just sort these out. Uh, catch up there. Algerian man, Yoga, Hulk, Juliet, national team, Stephen Christopher, Wayne Rooney, Stephen Gerrard, Jordan Larson, and we will find Lampy Party. He should still be about, right? Or not. Just retired as staff as well. Is that coach Chelsea? Oh, we just looked at him. RPG man. That was Juliet. He's at Man United. Um, so I'll refund your points on that because there's no point looking at him again straight away. Uh, Iman Benaris. Let's have a look. Or Eamon, rather. Benaris. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get him. Hang on. Unfortunately, he's not in my database, sadly, Lomper. Um, I'll, I'll give you your points back. Is he like a really young player that's only just been put in the database? Because if he is, then he might not be in my uh, thingy. Porto are too... How are Porto so good when they didn't look good against us? I already looked that up, um, JPEX. We did that once already today. And it's the... Uh, let's go for a different guy. Let's go after um, Estevao Shaitembi instead. Mr. Angola here. Highest amount. I think five was the most we've had in next gen so far anyway. Up to this point. We got sent to the Shadow Realm earlier. Ah, right. Yeah, so that's probably the reason then. Because he would have been in it at the beginning, I would have thought. But obviously, I didn't have Keep History After Retirement on him or anything like that. So that's the best we're going to get out of that one, I think. Uh, my God, so many here. Uh, Raph Voss. He must still be at Chelsea. Or they sold him to someone else as well now. Nope, they actually are still using Raph Voss. Uh, but in positive news, chat, 
He's made 69 appearances for both Chelsea and Milan. He never need play again. It just staggers me the types of strikers that Chelsea have on this save. They, if they don't win every year, really, they have no right to exist. They should be winning every single thing every single year with the strikers they've got. He's not even their best striker, by the way. He's absurd. Bear in mind, though, they also have Vulcan. This is their other striker. So Chelsea signed Zlatko off of us and then signed these two guys after that. And that's why Zlatko is no longer there. Because even Zlatko isn't as good as these two chaps. It's just absolutely mental. And the thing is, this guy was available for years. Like, we could have signed... Well, I say could have signed this guy. We couldn't have signed this guy. But we noticed him years ago. We noticed him before he was even at River Plate. But we couldn't do anything with the information because he wouldn't talk to us for obvious reasons. But he had a release clause at one point of £10 million. They paid 20 million for this guy. He was even cheaper than Zlatko. It might be one of the best strikers I've ever seen on Football Manager. Insane. One of these days, though, chat, we're going to get a striker like this. That's what makes the difference for us. One of these days, we'll get one. He's got... He's so good. I kind of... Is he, yeah, she hasn't got any 20s, in fairness. So, you know, useless is my point. Uh, Jordan Henderson. Uh, he is actually in management, sort of. He was Liverpool's under-23 manager. And to his credit, he's good. Um, all right, well, enjoy not having a club then, you bell piece. Great coach, won't even talk to us. We actually have a spare coaching slot too. I was like, all right, we'll do that then. But nope, apparently not. Cheers, Jordan. Enjoy being unemployed, I guess. standard. Yeah, that would be how he doesn't have a job because he won't work for anyone but Liverpool, probably. Patrick Vollemark at Östersund. He's decent. He's actually quite a good inverted winger. I think that obviously wouldn't be great for us at this point, but still. No games for Östersund, though. He was at uh, BK Hecken for years and was consistently playing, but stepped down to the second tier and now hasn't played. That's a shame. Uh, what are we up to now? Melka Elborn. Good lord. Uh, there he is. At place for Banias. Who? Oh, wow. He's gone to the Middle East. Well, I'll be damned. To be fair, like, it was at Malmö for ages. Then went to Yurtaborg. The Gas Boys. Although they were in the top flight for a year there. And then just went to Banias for... I've never even heard of Banias. I mean, hey, good money for Yurtaborg, I suppose. Uh, we'll go to Milner. Not Milner. He is. He's an assistant manager, and he's was also the under 18s assistant. Let me guess. Just that's right. Uh, probably not going to do that, James, with your sixteen thousand quid a week. But that's just standard for any unemployed member of staff. Sadly, another issue they've got with the game. Postecoglou. Uh, oh, is he retired? Am I spelling that right? I'm spelling it how you've written it. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be there. That's weird. He definitely should be in the database at the start. Uh, I'll refund your points for that. Right, Colm Whelan. I know for a fact that Colm Whelan's retired, I think. Because we've looked him up several times in the past, and I'm fairly certain he's retired. Yeah. We've got Colm Thielen. <laughs> And Bilal Hussein, before we actually start moving along a little bit. Uh, Hussein. Who is not in my database either. Hmm. Who does he play for in real life? Uh, oh, Victor Gore. Okay. Anyone interested? Not really, no. Oh, wow. Oh, Limbo was that guy that was really good. It's also this guy. Ertugrul Gurk. Toshek. Wow. Ooh. Ah, no tackling. Is that Icor? Okay. That. Icor a top flight, right? Hmm. Oh, it wasn't the database. Ah, there's a guy called Bismarck. You'd love to see it. Wow, Valak wants a lot of money, considering. How good is he? 
Oh, actually, he might be really good. He might be very good. I like that. I like that a lot. He's very interesting. Bernath, Franco. I'm trying to keep an eye out for those guys we were really interested in, but I haven't seen any of them come through yet. Any good Finnish new gens? Uh, I wouldn't know. Like, how do I... I mean, we could look at the national team, I suppose, and see if there's any... I mean, it will be mostly regents, won't it? So, um, anyone in here? Babka. Nice. This guy's also quite good. Mihail. But, price. Also, it's not really a spot that we're that desperate for players in, but I will actually shortlist him because he's quite... He might be one we can go back for later at another point if we need him. Oh, good Lord, more. Uh, I guess we look at Finland's national team, really, but that's all really I can do. Uh, Finland top players so there's this guy he's probably the best wow he's actually really good 24 year old um sort of trill like we have like this is a weird thing like we made the knockouts two years ago but then last year we came fourth in our group because just nightmare absolute nightmare so it's a bit of a weird one he's really quite decent in fairness yeah there's not really much i can do about that um tori Einen. oh he's real leo valta to lose very clearly their best player is the peshka and he's young so decent like uh who's the track southampton f thank you very much for the follow don't thought win bows win okay so bows are starting to creep back up the league again now with their game in hand if they win it they'll go back they, i think these two should comfortably get second and third again which is what we want really oh really so i wonder who put that report out then if it's not real that's kind of odd a 15-year-old Algerian striker. Watch him not join you for like seven years. <laughs> ah, here we go. So let's try this then. First things first, we'll do this again. Just to see if it's now worked. Right. Only just signed a new contract. Okay, that's fine. Because last time, it, they knocked about... Yeah, I wasn't surprised. Other iron sides. Uh, Bose knocked out Bodder. 6-1 on aggregate, but they got humped by... Uh, final which makes sense so they actually did us a favor there okay that's fine so next play okay now what did we do last time we could do the top target thing next step next gen winner oh yeah how serious they are in the wake of similar claims from recent from the club in recent history how dare you i've never seen that before let's see Working towards that end. Okay, now we go a day. Intriguing. I've no intention of signing for true. How dare you, Gomez? I, I think you do fine here. Right, next step. I'll make another offer. We're just we're just going through the checklist now. Wow. Hello. Okay, and then Erez Ini as well. Centre back, annoyingly. Definitely worth a look. Uh, so Derry's a bit of a weird one with that. So they play in our league, but yes. Okay, so still saying that. That's fine. Next thing. Oh, I have to wait, don't I? Now I can get back in. Nope. Got to progress one more. We need Carpenu. This is true, Regan. This is very true, buddy. Oh, great. More injuries. Lovely. Uh, Astana, be a ma I'd be a st Baghdad Bacon. I mean, his name's Bacon. It's lots of like. Other than his eyebrows, but then standard. Hmm, not that good though, is he really? <laughs> what about this guy? Oh, it's right. <laughs> well, looky here who it is. Any signings? A uh, couple, I think, but we're not in a window at the moment, so they can't actually join us yet. So Vukotic is the one that we've actually picked up at the moment. Um... Seems to be risk. What does that even mean? Ackman's shown pleasing progress. Mm. But how pleased is he? He is a bit good, isn't he, though? Maybe we should just try and give him that new contract. Tie him down long term. Because he is very good. And we don't want to lose players like this on a free or something in the future. Can I do it now? No. Okay, we'll have to wait a bit longer. But I'll get him on a new deal. Because he, he, even if we do have to make him our highest paid player, which he already is, then he's very, very good. And we kind of do need to just get him sorted, really. FC Volderi Mort. He's adapted it extremely well. Uh, Rodriguez, not yet, no. But we're going to be able to do that exact thing today. Because Akmat, of course, is suspended. Could Barto get a new contract? I think... Oh! Oh! Fuck. 
I did it. I got Bart a new contract. I must. I forgot to mention this. So yes, he has now got a new contract. Sans release clause. So we, I did manage to do that one thing off stream. Um, 16k a week. But do you know what the best part is? So right, you're going to love this. His old contract was like 12k a week. But he had a 21k national team clause. Right? Notice how he has two Spain caps now, by the way. He triggered the clause by getting the caps, which bumped his wage up to 21 grand a week. The day after... He signed a new contract, which bumped his wage back down by five grand a week. <laughs> which I had a lovely time with. Uh, so yeah, he's all good now. And the thing is, the guy's now starting matches for Spain at 20. I think this guy's got long-term outrageous potential. I do, I've never had that happen before. I was honestly wondering what would happen when he signed the new deal. But he, he is exciting. He, the aerial reach worries me a little bit. And he's not actually brilliant yet, but I think he can be. And over time, particularly with how young he is, I think he'll get there. I'm going to start Pablo today. If I could find him. There we go. Pablo Rodri Oh, he's not, he's not fully retrained there yet, is he? But the only way he'll get there is by playing there, right? Does he have a boat? Uh, no no boat, I don't think, with Barty Boy this time around. He didn't have a boat last time either, but it was the only way he could get in the new contract. So we'll take that. Like, I'm doing my thing, Hazy. It's what I do, you know? <laughs> hey, Henry. I'm going to do Vosterek and Preoteza this time. Both in Europe, they beat Bodder. So, but then they got knocked out by final. But it, it was enough for us. Hmm. Okay, so the next test was not Trek, though. We want to try maybe as an advanced playmaker wide. Obviously, at the moment, he's crashed there. But that would at least allow us to put him back to support. And I kind of want to do that. Try it for a day. See how he does. He's going to find space out there today, I'd say. Oh, God, Henry's so popular everywhere he goes. Do people do that to you on the street, Henry, as well? Just rock up and be like, hi, Henry. Just in, like, Tesco. Because if so, awesome. You've done well. Oh, hang on. How's it going? Let's have a look. Poland. Oh, look at these seasons. 80 points. Hell yes. I love that. Even with all that, right? That random season I just had with my Nor in my Norway save, they still ended up with more points. And I just... And that was without any team really being competitive in the Champions League. And that's probably the reason, honestly. Because they were so... powerful in the Europa Conference League. I can't believe we knocked out two Norwegian sides on the way to winning it. Mental. Awesome, though. We need a few seasons like that ourselves. The stress for like, bye, Henry, or get out of my face, Henry. Ah. <laughs> uh. I just want to see a good performance out of Alaku here, so we kind of know it's the right vibe. Also, it's just nice to see Pablo Rodriguez in the team. We were really excited about him when we found him, so now it's going to be an interesting... Oh, that was some nice football. Instantly looked really nice there. Can Rodriguez put a cross in? Good header. Okay. Solid start. I do like having Preo because he has sort of Doran vibes with his aerial ability, and we haven't really had a striker that was like that for a little while lately. Millie. Oh, slip it through. No. There we go. But of course, it's frozen thighs. Preo Bang over the bar. But that, that comes as a result of the shoot on site and the early shooting. It isn't always entirely effective. This might be a goal, you know. Palinic Matty against his former side. This should probably be a goal. Oh, it's not. Wow. They're usually, usually goals. Bray are winning a match. I don't mean to spoil the party here, but Bray are winning a match in the top flight and everything. I think that'd be their first win of the season or first points of the season as well, actually, while I'm, while I'm at it. Ooh. Okay, come on, careful, Barty boy. I think if Bart settles in and continues to develop the way I think he can and becomes more of the goalkeeper, like if he's continually getting caps for Spain, I think he could be our goalkeeper for like 15 years, potentially, if he continues to develop really well. Um, and that'd be good. To just have that not be a problem for us for like 15 seasons would be a really nice change <laughs> to not have to worry about. Why well, can't I do it? Literally, yeah. It's crazy. But to be fair, Norwegian clubs are stronger across the board so that would explain it so millie's gonna shoot really early here and i wonder if that could be the key or we might just okay fair enough or just win a penalty <laughs> frozen thighs now's your chance bud alaku though 6.8 so far he's actually no farps have actually really struggled they were like eighth in the second tier last year thighs freeze from the spot oh saved 
Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't need to. Don't have to ask him twice. It's 16 goals for the season now for throws and thighs. The man just performs. He's so good from dead balls and from penalties and, and from open play. Incredible. Yeah, I don't know if he's the number one for Spain, but the fact is, two caps for Spain whilst playing for Treaty United, either there's an absolute dirging quality in the Spanish goalkeeping department, or we've got an absolute talent there. Like, he did come through at Barcelona, remember? So he's... I say he's clearly quality. That doesn't make him good. Oh, God, thrice. He's in again. No. Oh. Tweeting it up. But yeah, that's a good way of doing it, isn't it? <laughs> Rumours of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. He's got full Mark Twain on them. Go on, Prioritizer. Wow, he's just brought it down. Ping it. Oh, wow, well, he actually fully did ping it there. Straight off the post, though, sadly. But he still develops nice rating, despite not scoring. Oh, and put over the line by Stanislav's back. Good stuff. Good shout, Silver. Actually, that's a really good option. Remind me after the match, because I'll obviously have forgotten by then. How many pitches are like, Keeps going. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Cliff. That was a bit fortunate. Little assist off the post. You love to see it. Now nah, we're really not. They've got games in hand, and as a result, they are... Bose and Dundalk will end up finishing third and second this year. I can almost guarantee it. It's just going to take a little while for them to even out, because Bose had so many games in hand as a result of their European run. I'll be very surprised if those two aren't comfortably third and second. Dundalk are already up there. Bose have a game in hand still, so they'll be fine. It'll just take them a little while. Still got, like, two-thirds of the season to go. I love how the chat's just descended into... No one, no one ever asks... They always say hi, Henry, but they never asks how, Henry, right? It's important. How are you, Henry? I think that's that's far more important. Prio Taser. Oh, good off the... Wow, we're just hitting every post that's possible today. <laughs> I do love what it's like. Miss penalty, score penalty. Why, Henry? <laughs> what, Henry? Pablo's done all right today. Alaku's done okay today. That, if anything, is the best news, I'd say, that we've had there at all. I get Millie off for Diaz for a bit. Who, Henry? Where, Henry? <laughs> when, Henry? Care, Henry? Oh, over the bar. This has actually been the lesser spotted underperformance game. Three or four corners in the old game. I do near post corners and the AI is cottoned on. They scored 90. Hang on. I'm the Pope. So hang on. Explain that a bit more, Hazy. I I'm curious. Spack. Oh, go on. Ping one, Palanek. No, someone's going to ping one here and it's going to be Fies Freeze. Oh, nearly. Another go? Go on. You fancy another pop? I know you do. Just turn around and thump it. That's your job here. Oh, it's wide. Gaza, thank you for the follow. Is he true real? Is he is it real life or is it just a fantasy or a nightmare? Some might say. Who Henry is us? Like <laughs> Indeed, which Henry? So every few games I'll switch it up. Yeah, but when you say switch it up, what what do you mean by switch it up? Like, it's like I had a comment on last night's video being like, uh, "You're a bit inconsistent in the league. Maybe change shape." It's stuff like that that's just extremely unhelpful. Uh, also, like, we just won a European trophy. Probably going to not do that, but yeah. It's, um... Yeah, I'm curious. Caught in a landslide. <laughs> no escape from Henry. True. Bohemian raps a Henry. Let the player choose. Oh, I see. So you keep the same positions. You just take off the... The directional instruction on the corner. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. That is hmm, a thought. Spat gets the job done. Yes, he does. Henry-based puns. You know what? Fuck it. I'm having a piss now then. All right. Big defender stay near post. I have my other one set for like Mark Goalkeeper and back post anyway. So if they did send it somewhere else. Interesting. We'll have to have to give that a crack when we hit like three or four corners in the game. Then, right, I'm going to have a pee break because I, I don't even really need one. But, you know, sometimes bladders got to go. Right, back in a sec, friends. Henry-based puns and away.
Hen Riyad Mahrez. You love to see it. Ni Nigel Henrio. Just honestly, I'm just enjoying the mention of Nigel Rio Coker, honestly. That's what I'm here for. Henry Ecker. That's extremely good. <laughs> that is. Ooh. Speaking of extremely good. Hello. Inverted. Oh, no finishing. Is that even. Mm, I just. I'm just places we wouldn't have even thought to look. What on earth? You must be on loan from like Rangers or Celtic, I'm assuming. Why is Wraith not in my... Wait, hang on. Oh, so he's on... Uh, Is Fife Elite like Wraith's affiliate side or something? Also, look how much money he's worth. I'm confused. I assume that's what that is, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not their second team. Right. Okay. Neil Kenny. <laughs> He's... Wait, are they Scottish Championship? How is this player worth so much money in the Scottish Championship? Look how good he is. He's very interesting. Octavio Sol... Oh, hello. That's really good quality in here now. I'm just I'm confused by that more than anything else. Oh, hang on. Is this the guy? No, it was Olympiacos. Why haven't we got in a report on the Olympiacos dude? Damn it. I prioritized it and everything. I'm the Pope. All right, you. Take off the Pope hat. Um. Thoughts. He's quite good. Ah, uh, screw the Olympiacos guy. Hello, Thomas Patulik. Uh, I'm going to struggle with your name there, sir. But thank you so much for the follow, nevertheless. 28 years old, though. doesn't matter. We're looking for good, not young. Good is what I'm looking for here. This is first team players we're looking at. doesn't have to be homegrown, any of that shit. We've got plenty of space. We've got like we've got so many spots in our squad now for non-homegrown players. We That's been our biggest problem. We've too, we focused on it too much. Oh. Yeah, apparently I'm just signing like, uh, it, maybe it's a valid strategy. Maybe the best players are all called Tom. The wage might be the problem, honestly. And who's he wanted by? Would you believe it's probably PSG? Oh, it's not. The thing I like about him is that he could operate in here or out here. So either out wide because of the passing and this new strategy. Bit old, but is he too old? Like what, what about him is like bad because of his age? No right foot. Mm, true, but we use wingers. Well, actually, we don't use wingers, do we? But he's just really good. He's just really, really good. And for 5.8 million, it feels like he's worth 5.8. And he's a good CM on attack. True, yeah. And could also probably do a job here. Without the, with the exception of the finishing. Like, he could do a job in all of our tactics. So, CM here. We could play him out wide if we wanted to do all sorts of stuff with that. We could play him as a backup Trek to Mihai Alaku. I think it would just heavily depend on his wage demands, really. Which, if that is the case, then obviously not a chance in hell that's happening. £57,000 a week. That's the reason I tend to go for younger players if I can do, just because their wages are always lower. But... Wait, is that not his... He doesn't have a release. What the fuck? Or does he? No. He, uh, okay, hang on. They might not even accept that. Oh, they will. Oh, is that like an asking price? I'm just curious. I want to see what happens. Because uh, sometimes those things can lie. And it's worth looking at just in case they do. Also. Thoughts. I know we were looking at the uh, guy from. Uh... Please tell me he's not LA. He's not. I realized we were looking at the guy from Independiente, but he would cost twice as much money. And I know he's younger, but he's not a sweeper keeper. Uh, I mean, like, I'm, the main things I care about is goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper doesn't really do a lot of sweeping. Look at the wages, too. I, I don't think that these, like, his eccentricity is a little bit higher than I would have liked, but, like, he's. 
I like him. Well, it's a bit of both. But the thing is, if this guy did come in to be our first choice, Barto would be able to rotate in and out anyway. And I like him. And the price. Let's just see. If we could get him for anywhere amounting to that kind of price, his value would be outrageous. Surely, yeah, Bulgarian caps, obviously, because he's, he's quite old. I, I like him a lot. Short term. Yeah, yeah, but... He, also, he's a goalkeeper. Like, if we had... We could get six years out of him, easy. And for the price is the key thing. The price. Even at 2.5 mil. What's 15k? 15k is the same at Bart's on. It's not, like, huge money, is it? I'd pay two and a half million for him. For this goalkeeper. Try 1.5. All right, let's give it a crack. I think that's surely too little. But we could maybe get one 1.8. If I can get 1.8 up front. If they let me restructure that. Like that. Then I'd probably do it. Actually, wait, would I? But that would certainly allow... It would also allow Barto the less pressure of having to play every game because we don't have a backup in case things go wrong. And Barto has had some slightly iffy performances. And this guy does kind of trump him in virtually every area. One mil over time. Well, no. We, uh, okay, uh, how about that? One mil over time like that. I still think he's all right. Honestly. I feel like his value upon joining us will be worth it. Um... I just really like him. We'll see what he wants. We'll see what both of them want, actually, in value in terms of wages. Because they might both have... So as much as 70 to 94,000 now. Holy shit. <laughs> I, it's always worth going into these talks. Because as you know, these things lie all the time. I don't think it's going to lie. Although weirdly, not purpled. It's kind of where I was thinking about using him anyway, actually. But I probably won't do that, just in case. I will do that for the moment. Yeah, because I just want to see. If right, it's probably because Al Ali. Hey, Ranks. Thank you, sir. I do feel dapper today. Let's just say, I want to see how... So this says 60 to 40. The other one said 76 to... Watch him want, like, 20k. 75. So actually not as high as it could have been, in fairness. The most we can offer, by the way, is 53, which is nice to know. So you're obviously not doing that. Uh, but you... On the other hand, oh, that's quite high. But that might also be wrong. I still think he's worth it. I just think he's really, really good, to be fair. Besides, as you say, we'll just sell him to Porto. <laughs> it's fine. They love goalkeepers. Bart's not played a game for them, by the way. Oh, God, he's purpling the fuck out of us. Oh, not this shit again. Language course. Got he's got high patience, which is good. But unfortunately, it's gonna be the same nonsense, isn't it? Long way from reaching a deal. I just I hate with a passion this bullshit this year. A negotiation is supposed to be I will offer you this. No no. We want this. Not I will offer you this. Okay? Why would they implement a feature like... Who goes into a negotiation like that? So what do we even do here? Like, what can we even say? We can't offer this stuff because it doesn't work. It's just... I don't understand what it's supposed to add to the game. Other than more meaningless shit you have to do that doesn't make the game any better. It just makes it worse. Emphatically. Um... Yeah, it's like, oh, I don't know. We're probably paying you, I don't know, 20 times the wage? Stepping Stone. He's 29 years old. Besides, if we do Stepping Stone, that could fuck us. So Stepping Stone will... We could do a big pay rise. Stepping Stone will instantly insert a release clause. And because his agent's clearly a dickhead, he'll have the release clause be something that then makes the whole point of the transfer worthless. And I know you can get rid of them, but then you have to negotiate with the same agent again. And then you end up with the same problem. Let's try this. 
I love that you have to promise to give them a bigger wage, as if you weren't already going to give them a big pay rise. And also, our current wage for a star player is NA, because obviously. <laughs> I wonder if that's what does it. Oh, I wonder. Do you think star player and then big pay rise might get you through purples because it's NA? So they just look at it as big money, but actually because there's no money there, it doesn't have any reference point. And so it goes a bit funky. That's fine. We have to test that at some point. It's hard to know. When, but next time that comes up, we'll have to remember. Um, plus, I can wangle this. I can give me like a clean sheet bonus, maybe. Oh, that's a bit high. I can always knock that and then knock that down a bit. That way he actually gets paid if he does well. It's common with no star. No, but we deliberately don't have star players in our squads, Jacuzzi. It's a point we've made in this save because it breaks our... It doesn't work properly. Could have voted him. Uh, No, we couldn't. Oh, maybe. But... I still think that... Yeah, well, you're right. We possibly could have voted him, but... With no release clause, there's less... Uh, I think it's worth it. I really do like him. He won't join us immediately anyway. But as good as Bart is, imagine having both of these two and actually being able to go, right, let's see where the development goes. Something about El Barto just kind of worries me a little bit. There's just... I see things in game... Like, you saw how he was in the Champions League last year. Uh, well, technically, it's not even three mil. It's like, what? that's over time as well. Can we compare them? Yes, we can. Uh, but also, just, just enjoy Jorgo Curry. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Mihov. Plus, his name is Lyuban Mihov. I love a good Bulgarian. Now, obviously, we can't see exactly everything about him, but we can see a lot about it. So, obviously, we use Sweeper Keeper on support, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. So, his aerial reach is four higher. His command of area is slightly worse. His communication is better. Eccentricity is, is worse. Handling's attached worse. Kicking's better. One-on-ones is better. And you know how important that... I mean, not that that matters that much, but I, I do wonder if that's a factor. Um, passing is probably the same. Punching doesn't matter. Reflex is better. Throwing is better. Aggression is not quite as good, but who cares? Anticipation solid. Composure is better. Concentration is the same. Very determined as well. Positioning is better. Vision is better. Uh, his acceleration is probably the same. His agility is about the same. He's taller. He's kind of just... Also ignore that, because that basically just copies that over, so that's not correct, but... Improve the development. I don't know. You'd like to think it would do, Gavin, wouldn't you? But probably not. Let's be honest. I think he's worth it for the price. His value when he joins us will immediately be like £5 million, I suspect. And I really like him. That's why I like that type of scouting that we've just been doing. Because it does allow you to find those guys that would not come through your scout reports ordinarily. That's why it's powerful. Oh, Chenk. You need to go through someone else's scout report, buddy. We'll find you a home. Don't worry. Uh, oh, Trapshire. Aberrant up in arms. Oh. Mm. Playtime saying, so yeah. But that's the beauty of loans. But the other good thing about us having this secondary tactic, even if we did revert back to our other tactic in the uh, Champions League, we would at least then have a two striker system for the league, meaning that we'd be able to develop those guys a little bit more anyway. Um, it's, it's also tied to things like training facilities too. So you better trade facilities will help you with situations like that too uh dinko dunker oh i thought his name was dinko dunkerdin or dunkerjin actually i don't trust that scout report i like him fill that in a little bit i think there's something there potentially certainly worth another look anyway right uh i definitely had to do the spanish national team so we can see who's actually ahead of bart in the squad i love that we keep calling him but i know it's el barter but it's literally not even his name is it <laughs> national team I love that. A Spanish player. The Treaty United player in the Spanish national team. So the other goalkeeper is Lucas Canizares. Who is better. But he is also 33. So unless they've got anyone else stepping into the pipeline. I don't know why they've got three unknowns here. Are they all goalkeepers as well? Yes. So they've got... No, there's a left back there. And then... You're a right back. So the other, the other goalkeeper they've got is Carmelo Bandera. Who I would say is better than him as well. For me, he's better than El Barto too. Is that, it might be. I don't know, actually. Uh, let's see. Vip. Dazza. Dazza, Dazza, Dazza. It's about bastard time, isn't it? 
I just noticed, is the 1889 thing a Brentford reference, Daz? Hopefully that's sorted. Yeah, I, I feel like Bart is probably going to struggle long term to be... Then again, how has this guy got no caps when he's clearly better? For me, anyway. I'd much rather have him than El Barto. Look at the reflexes, the aerial reach. He's really good. And he's on 300 grand a week at Valencia and hasn't got a cap. Not that... Well, like, you know, you have to ask these things, Daz. Uh, let's see. Alianza. Is that Alianza Lima? The... Oh, there's both of them. Right. It'll be a while before it comes through, but we'll definitely add it to the list uh, since we were noticing some weird stuff with the team reports again earlier. But it's super useful, the team report thing, because I think it allows you to find players that perhaps you would not ordinarily get in scout reports, particularly with the way we do our scouting. How, does that, how many you got currently? In session, yeah, exactly. Those match fees are not going to really do much for them, are they? One eccentricity is always nice. Spend my points on yoga. <laughs> There's your problem, Spirit Mano. I bloody love RFS is stadium. Look at that shit. You can nearly see her bum crack. That's how that's how bad. She's got builders bum on a bench. It's really a nice alliterative sentence there. And yet, this is their stadium. Glorious. Do they have any players though? They got Yanis Us. Ah, it's too cheesy. Can't be done. Isn't that a child? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that that's like a grown woman. on. It's, it's literally a park, isn't it? That looks like a park. <laughs> I don't know. Is that picture even their ground? Because I'm fairly certain that someone's just pulling the wool over our eyes. Because I'm certain that can't be their actual stadium, right? That just looks like an actual park. Like that place we played our Champions League qualifier in, if you recall. Actually, grandma. It's a babushka. A Latvian babushka. They've delayed the stadium again. This is getting ridiculous. I've never had a stadium be delayed twice. Now it's not going to be ready till September. This has been nearly a full... So that's now seven months of delays for the stadium. Good Lord. We have literally hired the building contractors from Faulty Towers, haven't we? The the O'Reilly men. The O'Reilly men. Imagine the stream. Uh, well, the goalkeeper are about to sign, I would say, is pretty major. When you consider the price tag attached to him for 2.1 mil, he's decent. Obviously, he won't join us until June 26th. So you'll have it, we'll have him in the next stream for Saturday when we do European stuff again. I like him. Apparently, EU4 meets FM. Anyone interesting here? No. A lot of players, though, at least. They have a lot of them. In great quantities of players. Like you. Ooh. Mate Tato. He needs more looking at, right? He is very interesting. Ooh, a guy at uh, FC Voldemort. Ooh, good jumping reach. Despite his uh, height, good jumping reach. Other guys clubs. I believe it's St. Pat's and Sligo, maybe? Or Derry. It's one of those two. It's definitely not Scamrock Rovers. That much I can avoid. That much I can tell you. Hmm. There's some good quality in there again. It's nice. We're definitely getting it narrowed down again. Zegnoon. Very expensive, though. There's definitely bargains to be had still. For sure. Five months behind, so in four months' time, they'll have done a month's work. Yeah, they are really just not bothering, are they? At all. Wow, that Cypriot guy from the... Uh... Or is he? Is that a different guy? Another Romanian. Well, if in doubt, we'll just go grab some more Romanians. Oh, they are fantastic. This is where I my car. Okay. Can we talk... Firstly, can we talk about EKOK? Because that is a superb name. SJH Extra. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, so basically, Tudorp. Um, on... I can't remember which save it was. Might have been our... Outcast to Icon say where we did like a journeyman on Twitch a couple of years ago. Um, obviously, with the whole the stupid naming rights stuff to do with FCSB in it, uh, because of the weird stuff. But basically, I was referring to them as FCSB or Stout or whatever, and someone came in and told me, you know, it was wrong and this is the situation. However, 
every time we tried to like progress things from that point, I would use one of the things that they'd said. And then they would then come back and be really pedantically telling us that this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. So in the end, I just decided to stop using the name of the club at all and started calling them FC Voldemort out of spite, basically, because I was just, I'm, I have no time for pedantry. I love it when people want to help and allow you to be correct in those things. But when they then take it to the point where if you're not 90, not 100% on the mark every single time, they'll just kick shit up and I have no time for that crap. Um, so that's basically the reason we call them FC Voldemort. <laughs> Addy, <he> okay. okay. <laughs> What a chant. Place for Heartland FC as well. EK OK is a superb name. But yeah, that's basically what it is. We have that, we've had that happen a few times. It's like when we banter about Christian Pulisic as well. For the same reasons. I, I have Cliff, but you know, this is the thing. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> you don't have that kind of power here, Cliff. Hmm. This was the other goalkeeper that I was kind of interested in, but he's just not as good as the guy we've just paid way less money for for me. <laughs> Plus, I'd like to keep Mulder. Let Mulder keep their Spanish keeper there. That's always nice, isn't it? <laughs> Pulisic. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, precisely. It's just why we just don't even bother. Like, I loved it when people would help me pronounce names of players, for example, uh, in old YouTube videos and stuff. And I learned a lot about how to say things, particularly Polish names and whatnot, through doing that. But there's always that one person that if you didn't pronounce it 100% correctly every time, even if you were, generally speaking, getting it right, they would kick shit up and it's just not worth it, is it? So at that point, I generally start going the opposite way and start deliberately pronouncing names wrong. Because <laughs> I have no time for pedantry. Show me your authority. No, I will not clip. Do you know what? Because I'm in charge. <laughs> Is Ackman back yet, or is he still suspended from using the uh, the force? No, he's back. Good. I'm going to get Emmett back in again today. Uh, I still want to do Alaku out there again as the AP once more. Just because he actually did okay there last time. And maybe Danko back in, actually. Maybe Dia, too. And maybe Diaz. No, Espen. I'm changing my mind. Inside forward. I liked him in the last game. I kind of want to keep him as the AP for this one. I, I like what I saw. I want to see him do it again. Now with a slightly different... Maybe with a slightly more competent right back behind him. Who's unhappy, admittedly, because he's an absolute, you know, bumbling bagpipe of a human. But that's not my fault. <laughs> that's his fault. Ah, oh, dear. Mm. Yeah, I'll do. Oh, Roy Galvin. You'd love to see it. Right, cool. I'm really enjoying... We still, even throughout this period, we have still been able to find some absolute gems who I think will become fantastic players one day. It's just we focused too much on finding players for other sides. Yeah, half the team being wanted is semi okay, including the Ferris. Hey, there's nothing sad about including the Ferris. The only reason I didn't include the Ferris originally, Brogan, was because in order to do so, I would have had to use an extended database. Now, I don't know if there's a good one out now, but at the time, there was only one available, and I didn't trust the idea of an extended database at the time, because the editor was being shit. And as a result, it was breaking saves with some of the stuff that was in it with the extended databases, and as a result, I had to go for full-on, uh, like, vanilla, really. But originally, I would have liked to include the Faroes. We love the Faroe Islands around these parts, most specifically, in Drottafilofiegefjadar. That was a long sentence. I need some lipstick. Lipstick? Chapstick. Just me applying a bit of lippy. No, don't mind me, chap. It's fine. I do wonder if we could remove shoot on site for a bit today. In fact, I might try that now. Because I think that you can kind of get a bit of... I don't think the shoot on site thing is actually getting us too many good chances, really. But it might be. I just don't know. She make up. Well, she borrows mine clip. You know how it goes. <laughs> Every time she needs a bit of mascara, I'm just like, fine, let me get my bag. Okay. Oh, Pharaohs is a great. I just like, I like a Nordic cross. What can I say? I like the certain other flags versions of Nordic cross. Oh, Ackman's through. Just square it, please, Admiral. Do the job. Ball in. Falcon horse. Posts as well. I hit far summer. too often. Space winter, FM. Thank you so much for the follow. Very depressing. If anything, I'd actually argue that the posts being hit so often is probably more of an irksome situation than the one-on-ones because it's just so blatantly unrealistic, genuinely, if they want to bang on about realism. 
if you actually looked at match stats and see how often posts and bars are hit per game, it would be not even close to what is modeled in FN. It's staggering. Oh, Protoss there. Go on, son. Ping it. He's through. Oh, he's missed the target. <laughs> oh, no. God, oh, I forgot to do the Altac one. My apologies. I'll get that in a minute. It's going to be right at the back of the queue, though. Your team at the post lot in this game. Yeah, it's because they do. Repeatedly. Um, but, yeah. It's just what it is, isn't it? Oh, nice ball throw. Emmett Doran scores. Nice. One-on-ones are back. Uh, are they? Because <laughs> there's not been any updates, and I'm still seeing the same shit. And they should be like, they're still shit, in which case, yes. Mash his flags together. No, but I'm very interested in that. I did see that, actually. Yeah, Christopher Penguin. It's, it's nice. Um... It's a shame that it's one of those annoying betting tipster accounts, though. Or is it? Or is he just stealing the photos? I, just, I don't know if that's what's happened. Sample size one. <laughs> to be fair, that wasn't a proper one-on-one, -on -one, though. Those angled ones are much more easy to score, I've noticed. Especially if they're on their correct foot. It's the ones where they're central that are the real problems. All they have to be is slightly off center to the keeper, and it's much more likely to score. Mishko, thank you very much for the follow. I open my own hotel. Oh, dear. Long ball. That's fine. Ackman should win that. Yes. Nice. He's got a bit of aerial presence, too, which I really like. Oh, go on, Thighs. Drop it through. I know we're playing goal way, but still. Good ball in. And okay. Alaku, maybe? Yes. Nice. That was good. Lovely cross from Alaku. Prio Taser. I'm... And he was on a 6.9 prior to that as well. Alaku was the advanced playmaker out wide. Plus, it would also get us around the fact that this team doesn't actually have a designated playmaker. And now we'd kind of have two guys almost doing it. Like, he doesn't shoot, just drops it through. Lovely finish. Ooh. That's... I like that. Alaku started really well here. Small sample size. Obviously, it's a cut game, but it's intriguing. We're creating... A lot of XG off of very few shots, which means that indicates to me that the shots we are creating are of a high quality. Like a very, almost higher than normal. So this is interesting. Now, obviously, that one accounts for a lot of that, of course, because it was like a basically a tap in on the line. So that definitely is like an eight or something. Right, Emmett, slip it through. He's not going to have the speed, but he might force the keeper into an error here. Nope. That's the problem with uh, Preo Taser. It's that slight lack of a yard of pace, which he will get with time. If we train him quickness for a couple of seasons, he'll certainly get it. Come on, Espen. Get that early cross in again. Ball across. Prayer Taser. Slots it home. 3-0. Nice. The crosses are working nicely. Uh, Moses is at Hoffenheim now, sadly. It seems like it, Kerm Raid. Yeah. Uh, we've almost horseshoed it, but I don't mind that if it's creating high quality chances that are actually scorable. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Besides, I think he was better there. I say better there. He's been fantastic this year. But you'll notice that he is starting to get a bit um, clouded now. Just want to make sure I haven't got anything. No. Uh, be cool if you could, like, maybe right-click and drag, and it would keep their position. Imagine that. I'm just throwing out ideas here, SI. If you could, like, right-click and drag a player, and it would keep the roles and everything as well, if you drag them across. Proteas, yes. I believe so. Um, I believe my, a friend of mine once came up with this chat up line, which just like been like, something like, I may not be this kind of Proteas, but I'll unzip your jeans, which I just thought was good. Uh, right, we'll try that. I have all penguins. Can you imagine? Right click drag, where it, it, it specifies that you keep the role as well. Just the little things like that, I'd be ecstatic with if it was implemented. Just. just I'd be so much more happy with one feature like that than another meaningless staff meeting, I tell you. Oh, it would be a dream. But that doesn't sell games, does it? It would to me. Right, let's see. Oh, slip it through. Yes, thighs freeze, making the run. Okay, he should score there. He, he probably should do all right there. I'm not a fun guy. Now you are, you're fun. Wow, we've been very creative so far. Thigh Street probably should have scored there, honestly, but it is what it is. Now he's got the ball again in a bit more space. Can now find his teammate. Expected expected shirt sales. Oh, don't. Don't. Because you know. 
I I'm actually curious as to what you guys th that's silly what you think will be the the headline features for this year like uh, you already know mine I'm curious what you guys think will unironically be the headline features why did he take the penalty is he on a hattie I assume he must be yeah he is okay I must have missed his first goal when did he score the first goal I know he scored that one. Oh well he's got it Actually, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be this year. Women's football, that will almost certainly... I mean, they will run with the, that to the heavens, of course, from a marketing standpoint. And why wouldn't you? Manchester can wear hats. Oh, you jokes that line. But we were actually talking about that exact thing the other day and how it's probably on the cards. Right, Emmett Doran's through. is central, which means... Emmett Doran scores one-on-ones more than any other striker I've ever had. Consistently, he just... I, but maybe it's because he took that touch to the side. It wasn't like... Great ball, though. Thighs freeze with a clatter over the top. But it's because he takes the touch there, offsets him, and thus allows him to score. It's when they don't take that sideways touch. Psychologists would be quite cool, actually. If they did something. <laughs> Dan, I'm at you throw. Watch them introduce it as a brand new feature. <laughs> and then it still doesn't work. <laughs> Bergevans instead of... Oh, there's Bergevans, surely. Set-piece coaches would be cool. Um, I'd really like a, an overhauling of actual set-pieces. Like, so you can just completely change the way they work. Nice little one-two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think turning it off of um, shoot on site does seem to be probably the play. No fixed PA. If there's no fixed PA, though, how would you regulate the player's growth in the game? Because obviously, given how this game is sometimes, do you not think it could kind of run riot if you allowed it completely off the leash? Given what we know about how this game functions. It's national management improvements would be sensational. As a wild hair... Uh, my hair is... I'm, I'm basically saving it for a haircut soon because I'm going to... I'm best man at a wedding in a few weeks. So I'm getting it as close... Getting it cut as close to the wedding as possible. That way it still looks good when I'm actually there. <laughs> Got to think about these things. The donut now breaking through. Good finish. Need to make complex routines. Yeah. The, the problem, as you say, the more complex it is, the more room it has for breaking it. And let's be honest, this game is not difficult to break as it is. dynamic potential see i haven't got a clue what that is because i don't play fifa so i'm gonna need someone to explain the way that they implemented dynamic potential like what changes it i think it couldn't be uncapped surely because then i think you'd end up with a bit of a weird situation where go on emmett chink dink him oh no put the best rivers face in the game no no more face in the game like unless it's me in which case you know i wouldn't i wouldn't be opposed to a matte card you know coming through at fulham every now and then up oh, yeah, here, the stadium changes. Well, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's working nicely, yeah. Now, obviously, they're a second to the side, but it does feel like it creates a lot. And they're better chances. We're not having to rely on set pieces, which means that we then have set pieces as like a, a fallback on top of that, too. Uh, okay, cool. So that's going to be a ban, my friend there. Uh, that's going to be a... Uh, That's gonna. It's on speed running bands. That's cool, isn't it? Let's just do that. Whoopsie doopsie doopsie doopsie. <laughs> well, I mean, I know it's a bot, but like, lol. That's a new one, actually, chat. I've not seen that one before. <laughs> Fair play, Millennium. All right, yeah, you got me on that one. No, I, I can't right click. I actually have to, weirdly, I have to click on them and then I get the menu. If I right click, it brings up some stuff inside OBS. Um, because obviously I'm not looking at the same Twitch chat you are. I have like a plugin inside my OBS screen. It's so when, for example, if I right click on your name, I'll tell you what pops up. Uh, I get this weird. Oh no, there is a thing at the top. Oh, that's sick. No, I tell a lie, Maris. It actually does do that. I've just never noticed that many before. It's like this weird scrolly thing. It's. I always thought that was some weird metric. That's weird. I've never even noticed that before. Heavily updated attributes, what, like sevens on everything. Don't concede here. Oh, nice block. 
Wait, 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 what? <gasps> what can they implement? Uh, the, the biggest thing for me they could change would be the way that you select squads and the, the AI when it comes to asking your assistant to help you select squads. It is completely broken. When we were managing one international save my i literally asked my assistant to pick a squad for me and he picked less players than were el than were allowed to be registered for the squad so i literally couldn't progress without picking it myself anyway stuff like that just little ai things so at least when they do help you with stuff it actually helps you in some way but in addition the way that you have to pick them is like you're picking a squad for a uh like say you're registering players for the champions league the difference is when you're registering players for the champions league you're picking out of a squad of like 30 players registering it down to like 25 but what you're doing with an international management setup is you're picking a squad of like 25 out of like 6,000 players. And as a result, there's really no easy way. It'd be it'd be cool if there was a selection squad screen where each one, each position in your team had its own menu. And that then provided additional and supplementary stats based on the players that are for those positions. And that allowed you to make decisions within the same menu system for who to pick in what position and why. And also maintain like um, custom squad setups so you could say this is my squad for x and he would be able to re-bring it back in almost so you could have a little drop down say right squad for i don't know friendlies and it would bring in slightly younger players for example things like just little things like that it would be cool there's obviously plenty more things in there too but that's one thing i would like that's my biggest bugbear is squad selection um it makes it very difficult that was quite a good performance from the guys there actually a new uk based cheese curd manufacturer i see hef please elaborate you can't just say that and leave training yep um, wow, Dundalk got knocked out by Sligo. Holy damn. Not pick. Yeah, I don't think he picked a goalkeeper. And bear in mind, this wasn't a case of, like, there wasn't enough players. It was, like, the players were there. He just wasn't picking them because reasons. Ed just talks about <laughs> Chad Hef. <laughs> I'm here for it. Okay, so what we were going to do, we was going to, hey, Imagine, imagine if you could right click and drag. Ah, oh, days. Right. Okay. So we move that. We do that. It's nice to see Thais. Oh, hang on. Thais back in his correct role anyway. But you're right. He was getting in the way. Uh, but now, actually, it might, it might actually make us even more balanced this way around. In fairness. Uh, right. I want board midfielder. Toto's has become so good there. Okay. So there's that, and it was taken off that, and mixed cross. Mixed crosses might have helped us too, actually. Hit it in the last. Time. Do you know what I'd actually really like? If they brought in one thing, um, it would be the ability for when players are on time wasting to actually take it to the corner flag. That would be good, and I know they can because they did it on the fucking alpha, and I think they did it on the beta as well. And for some reason, you it doesn't happen anymore. The amount of times I'm like trying to kill a game off in the 90th minute, and my player will run to the corner and then cross the ball into nobody instead of just holding it in the corner. <laughs> When you're on max time wasting, lowest tempo, all that jazz. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, why am I doing this here? Oh, yeah. Oh, no worries, Alcedo. Um, I didn't make it. I just made the video. That was all Nymane's absolutely stunning work. It's, it's a game changer for the Echo community. I love it. Ah. Tortosa was a hell of a stream. Yeah, he was so good. And now that he's got an Italian cap as well. Oh, no. Believes he's good enough to play for Ireland. No, chat, it's happening again. It's Orlando Santa Maria. Or Orlando Sant O Maria. Those are your choices. See you later, Jack. Hopefully we'll be, well, we'll be back into Europe on Saturday, so we should be doing some Champions League goodies. Uh, auto Twitter post not working. Uh, how do you mean? What, like from Inside FM? Oh, no, actually, I've never done that, I don't think. Saint O Mary. Like, yeah, I've never actually used that feature. Um, I like all land. Oh, St. Mary. Yeah, I like... Or, yeah, St. O. Mary. That way he gets his... All, that, we've got to move that O from somewhere, right? All land, St. O. Mary. There he is, ready to go. Oh, here we talk. Right, the cheese is in, chat. This is key. Squeaky cheese curd. Good. Weight option. I've worse than 500 kilos. I'd like 500 kilos of cheese curd, please. Not to get his cap. True. We'll name him that for now. 
Oh shit, Matos has broke his spine chat. That's terrifying. Not ideal. Welcome back. Uh, not this time around, no. Um, I needed to take some time out from extracurriculars, as it were. Um, I I'm feeling a lot better now, but for about, like, I don't know, not long after, even towards the end of the previous showdown I was in, I was not in a good place mentally, and it was a real struggle for me to do stuff that was outside of my, like, base. I had to basically peel everything back to the base things I needed to do, which was make videos, stream my three days a week, and then kind of just get into the routine just to try to help my brain out a little bit. And so I've been doing that for about the last sort of 60 days nearly, and that certainly seems to have got me back onto more of an even keel. Um, so I am feeling a little bit better about that as well. But that that's the reason. Um, obviously, it's not to say I would have been in it even if I had have been like up for it, but I haven't been. So I've sort of set myself unavailable, as it were, because of that. Um, I would never presume that I would be in it anyway, because um, it's all about earning it. But yeah, that's the reason. Or one of them, anyway. Uh, okay, so Cork City. Looking better this year, at least. And Dundalk are up to third again, which is good. Just need Bows to just... Then again, they've got two games in hand on St. Pat's and a better goal difference. So actually... Far to improve. So he has improved. Uh, we can have a look now because he's still going to be in goal today, isn't he? So I'll let that rotate a little bit. Thighs freezes. Oh, the donut up for winner. Why is that? Is Tortosa suspended or something? Or does it not like it because he's now... No, I kind of want Tortosa just... If we're testing today, I kind of want our best foot forward there. Vosterek and Doran. I still want to try... Pro uh, actually, no. Let's try Vosterek today. You could do with a run out. And maybe or Florida Man, actually, for a little bit, too. But yeah, Alba uh, Albato. Elbato's development. All I ever see is green arrows, so surely he must have had some development. So his one-on-ones has gone up by one. Reflex is up by one. Anticipation up by two, which is pretty sick. No testify. Oh, yeah, that shit can be massively stressful. For sure. Like Also, like lately, I've been trying to negotiate, hopefully, a new sponsor for YouTube, potentially. So, touch wood. That'd be cool. But, um... Yeah, it's just shit takes a toll on you from sometimes. And you have to know your limits. I know where my limits are from having to stop doing content entirely. So I never let myself get even close to those limits. And then I just peel it back until I start to feel a bit better again. And then I up the ante again a little bit more. I've been doing a lot more lately. Um, again, which is making me feel good. Nova Voss. Oh, I've, it's not a case of considering it. It's a question of... No Novakovic has been listed for loan for ages, as far as I know. And nobody has tried to bid on him. It's weird. Plus, I kind of want them here at the moment because they are nearly qualified as homegrown, if I recall correctly. And I don't want to send them out because I want that homegrown status. If I, let's have a look. I think that they're either at it or nearly at it. So look, yeah. So in June this year, all of these guys... No, that's next year. So in June this year, Silvera, Vostrek, and Novakovic will count as homegrown players. Dia next year, Maganich, Danko, Faye, all of these guys can be homegrown trained at club, which is kind of key. Especially for these two. So if I sent him out on loan, we'd lose that. And it would go back to train in nation. Which is still cool and all. But let it down the line. If they become first team regulars for a long time, that is going to be life. That's so damn useful. Because uh, it's so useful to have people like Hansen, Falkenhorst, Karpanu, uh, even Cemp Bayrak, I suppose, and Stoyanovic that are countless homegrown. It just makes our lives so much easier. And it allows us to go and find people like that goalkeeper and bring them straight in because we don't have to worry about their homegrown status. The other good thing about signing young, of course, is that after two years, they also count as... Um, they count as... Like, so they don't have to be registered for the squad. There's like a two-year window where they don't have to be registered for any squads at all. And it's great. And there's always going to be a ton of players that sit in that bracket for us. Uh, yeah, HGN is cool, but HGC is where it's truly at. Thank you. I couldn't have put it better myself, Brazio. Okay, so let's see how this functions against Cork with the updated tactical ideas. And of course, this is with us targeting... Oh, I was going to try that corner thing, wasn't I? I don't know if you're still here, Hazy, but did you say it was after like three or four corners? Like, unsuccessful? As in, like, you look at the stats and say, oh, we've had four corners now and I've not seen anything fantastic. Is that when you switch it up? Or is, the, like, or is it just kind of when you feel like it? I'm curious. Because that's definitely something that I'm interested in testing. Good save. got to keep an eye on our corner count of course since we are playing for corner so we should still win a decent amount of them because we are so strong from set pieces Millie's ball cleared away well Tortosa is just going to mop that stuff up over and over and over oh nice for Alaku lovely pick out oh good effort nice pass from Alaku though again he should get a little bump for that yep that's what I want to see 
Oh, it's cleared. Okay, not too bad. The reason I like being able to play these games and have these slightly chiller streams where we're just doing stuff like this is because it does give us an idea, a, a way of like workshopping tactical ideas. Because I feel like the tactics for Treaty in this save have never really been particularly strong overall. I think the biggest thing that's changed for us over the years has been the personnel. The, the quality of the players has improved. Even Fries Freeze is scoring headers now. 17 goals this season. This guy's absurd. But I don't think the tactic is anywhere near as good as perhaps my Tromsa one is for in terms of getting better out, making the players play above themselves. And that's really what you're looking for for any tactical style. Something that works consistently and allows that to happen. And I don't really feel like the treaty tactics we've been using at any point in this save have actually really been ever able to do that. Where they just suddenly come together as a team and play really well. Other than that one random season where we got to the Europa Conference League final. Sorry, Europa League final. That season it did feel like everything was just clicking into place. And nothing's really been the same since. Don't know why actually, considering Zlatko wasn't even in the team at that point. We signed him directly after that stream. Which was odd. Carpenu. Oh, nearly. Like the pick out, though. I feel like more often than not, we're going to be able to get those through. And plus Alaku. Oh, nice. Again for Millie. Millie's getting a lot of chances. Oh, what a save. My expectations for other Irish sides this year is I hope that we have two more in the group stages again. Because I think Bose will... Not Bose, sorry. Dundalk will be pretty much given a buy. If, if last season's anything to go by, into the group stages of the Conference League anyway. So we should have one guaranteed. And I hope that with the draws falling the right way, maybe, I'll have to let you know later on when I've done that bit, we should be able to get another one. I think it'll be about the same as last year, really. But with a slightly higher quality... Oh my God, look at him! A slightly higher quality of player. He's done it again. 2-0, thighs freeze. 18th goal of the season for the Frozen Thighs. Who needs strikers? When this man just scores so many free kicks, it's absolutely unreal. This is one of the better ones he's got though. Look at that. James Ward-Prowse is just jealous of this man. That's incredible. And it still allows us to score these sort of lower quality chances, if you like. Which is very important. Let's just think how many goals we would have picked up from having him do that this season. It's insane. But Emmett and Vosterek have looked a little bit sus so far. So I haven't really given much chance yet. Alaku's looking all right. Oh! Post again. Standard. Wouldn't be a true match if the post wasn't hit at least once. Oh, dear. It's hard to know what we expect this season. Uh, but what I do expect from our side of things is I expect us to not come fourth in our Champions League group again. That's what I do expect. Um, that cannot happen again. It really just can't afford to happen again. Oh, they've hit the post again. So that's a free kick taking. Um, it's not like... It's like 18 or 17. 60. 60. He only has 16 free kicks. Giving the ball away a lot. Yeah. But we also mentioned... That's my problem. I, I wonder if against bigger and better sides, that could be what could be the downfall with this tactical style of play. I feel like we're doing great and we have a lot of possession against um, sides like this. But I wonder if we come up against a side that are actually able to hold on to the ball a bit more, if it starts to look a lot worse. That's the, the, the biggest issue. And Vosterek, saved again. I get better throughout the years. Yeah. Well, I mean, Bows were in the knockouts of the Conference League last year. High level tactical success by play. Yeah, well, it's technically a 4 2 4, if that makes you feel any better about it. <laughs> but sometimes you have to, like, try stuff out, really, don't you? Like, the aim of this tactical style was actually just to sort of prove my point about certain chances. And we've almost ended up kind of, as you say, horseshoeing it back into being. Uh, do something with corners. Uh, we haven't had enough corners yet, really. We've only had like two corners in this game. I think. I'll have to have a look. Tony Pulis smiling down from above. I love the... He's, he's not dead. I don't think. Has Twitter decided that he's dead now? Is Tony Pulis having to decide that? Oh, Emmett Doran. Good save again. Um, I found that 4-4-2s have not been super effective this year. This is 4-2-4 seems to be okay. But then again, that 4-4-2 was doing well for Napoli against me yesterday. Pulis is in my attic. It's true. He lives there, Big Tone. We call him Big Tone upstairs. Strange, though. Oh, go on, Jan. But, like, great header. This is his first goal of the season. Think how long he's been in this team today and how many... We've played him a fair few times. That's his first goal. Good header, though. Still got his cap on. Oh, for sure. The man sleeps in it. He showers in it. It's a shower cap, isn't it? And St. Pat's winning is annoying. Fuck it. Let's try the corner thing, then. I don't know if we've only had three, but it can't hurt, can it? So, we want mixed and mixed. 
whilst maintaining all the other factors the same. This would be very interesting if this turns out to be a, a thing that would work. Oh, go on, Emmett. Oh, I could have stopped him through. Wanted to test it out as well. Yeah, but R seemed to do very well as the Trek. And I found that when he was the Enganch... Did we even test that? I think we did, didn't we? Emmett could say. Moved into a better hospital. The conditions are improved to a life. Well, hey. <laughs> I love it. That's a Simpsons thing, right? I'm certain of it. God, I've watched The Simpsons in such a long time. Oh, good tackle, Millie. Go on, stop him through. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, I don't really know what the difference is between shoot on sight and not shoot on sight there. Because that might as well have been shoot on sight. And we've definitely not got that switched on anymore. does feel harder this year i would say for me but i suspect that part of the reason is just because a lot of the a lot of what i know about fm comes from trying to work out patterns and seeing the logical consistencies and this year it feels like there's been a lot less logic applied to things in almost all aspects of the map the game in general you sort of have to do the opposite of what you think would be good i don't know how much i like that but a challenge is always fun though as long as it doesn't set you back too far in the mud millie oh another post has been hit standard but we've managed to score three goals today off of virtually no XG. Well, not virtually no XG, but like not a considerably large amount of it. Right, okay. Tortosa's knackered. Oh, he's got an injury. When did he get hurt? Alec has not been great today, actually, in fairness. Like, he's been the one player, actually, who hasn't performed all that well. Let's get Preo Taser in for a little bit, too. See if he can do some magic off the bench. A Mr. Bert <laughs> at the very best. Oh, dear. Maybe there's just a year where there's just no magical uh, answer. Though I will, I will say, CMs on attack are very, very good. PPMs on the strikers. Uh, Prioteza has come deep to get ball, and it actually works quite nicely in this system because it means that he almost operates a bit like a ball, uh, like a deep line forward sometimes, even when he's not. Oh, we had a lot of chances in that second half. I didn't see much. Did we get any more corners? A couple more, but maybe not a big enough sample size there, really. Hmm. Wide midfielder. I liked wide midfielder. Not wide midfielder. Sorry, what was it? Wide playmakers I liked on my last... On my Sassuolo save. Used that for a long time. Inverted wingbacks on attack. Haven't used an inverted wingback in ages. Bows with a big win. Bray still only the one point so far this season. Their goal difference is now better... Worse than ours is good again. How many goals have they let in? Because they must be scoring sometimes too. Thank God Dundalk at least bailed out a point there. What is their record like this year? 46 goals conceded in 13 games. Ouchie. Nine of which were against Bose. <sighs> AP on AMR. Yeah, it was actually. Um, we that was we won a lot with that. I think we won the Champions League multiple times when we did that, didn't we? Because we used to play 4-4-2 with Tromso and it just didn't quite end up working in the end. I think obviously it's about personnel too. It's not just entirely down to pure tactics, but it was nice. Ooh. No finishing. Maybe. But... Oh, Dinko Krishman. God, there's some good players in here, aren't there? Jules Kalala. Oh. Solid. But because it's an African player, they won't talk to us. Velko Kristic as well. There's some good quality talent here. Melvin Gemperle. That's a cool name. Wingback. I don't know if I'm a shadow striker. Jesus. Yeah, I found that. I think the last year they were. Was it last year? I think they were all right. One of these days I'll figure it out. It's just a question of trial and error. It usually takes me long, long, long time into the game cycle to really start getting anything of consistency that I like. Patrick Dennis. Is that the guy? We, oh, no. That's him. I forgot about Patrick Dennis. The Liberian dude. He's solid. Fuck, I might scout him a bit more, actually. It might be the price that's off putting. Probably his wage as well. Unlike that uh, goalkeeper who wasn't uh, on too much money. It feels like, you know, players at Sparta Prague are going to be on decent wages, sadly. There's a lot of roles I've never used. When I was talking to Zealand about this, when we were making that video about favourite roles, we were talking about how there's some roles you just sort of don't ever use. And I was looking back through my old tactics and seeing, like, weird... Like, I would use... I used to trek at striker during my Wimbledon... Day, uh, not Wimbledon. Portsmouth days. I couldn't believe I did that. I would never do that now. Not because it's not would work, just because I would never even think to do that now, I suppose. Like, for example, I've never used a Segunda Volante as far as I'm aware. Uh, not on purpose, anyway. 
and I've heard good things about it. Right, I've got some team reports I need to catch up on as well, haven't I? Uh, so finish new gens. Oh, I've, oh, I've got so much here. Let's do... I've done that. Did that. Did that. Right, now I need to catch up on these. So Altac. I assume that's the... Is it Rindolf Altac? These guys. Boom, boom, boom. And Krayovia. We did get a couple of guys. Oh, no, no, we're already doing them, apparently. And Salzburg. Okay. I assume the reason we're doing the uh, Romanian team is because I already... That's from my previous set. No, we didn't. We didn't even get out of our group, uh, Marco. That's why we're having such a weird time of it lately. We just got absolutely destroyed. I say destroyed in our group. We didn't. We played really well, but just got the worst possible things happen to us repeatedly, sadly. And following Whitport. I don't know. Maybe? If I did, that's where I would have used it. Because I used to play a 4-4-2 with two DMs with Whitport. But I don't know if one of them was a Saguna Volante. Maybe when we got higher up, I might have done. Qualification. Uh, hang on, wait. Oh, I don't know yet, Marco. Uh, so, technically we're not supposed to. But I wouldn't be surprised if we are. We seem to get a buy every year. It's really odd. Like, it feels like lately, for about the last five years, we've gone in a round further than it says we should have done. So if it says we're going to go in the third round, we'll be in the playoff round. And I don't really know why. I suspect it's because of, like, we're filling stuff in and we have the highest coefficient of the teams remaining. Because we're almost like, we're still like a pot two coefficient side. Although that's probably going to change fairly soon, I suspect. I think by next season, we'll be right back down in pot three again. Which, uh, given some of the pot twos we've had lately. Some of our toughest seasons have been since we got pot two, weirdly. Round Oiter. I tried Round Oiter once because Ryan Sessignon, in theory, should have been a really good Round Oiter. And when they first brought it into the game, if I recall, uh, it was when he was breaking through at Fulham. But unfortunately, his attributes in game did not match what he was doing in real life. And thus, yeah, Round Oiter was more of a Round Oiter, which is a shame. Uh, Krunoslav or... I like him. I like him a lot, actually. He's very interesting. God, there's some good talent in here. Time to do contract, really? Wow. I don't know what his last contract was, to be fair, so. Uh, you guys. Mm. It's actually alive. Only works for Thomas. It does feel like that, doesn't it? I mean, it was almost brought into the game specifically for him, wasn't it? Uh, right, how's this Tom FM lad coming along? I feel like that's not even an update. Like, he hasn't seemed to have gained any knowledge in that last one. We'll do it again. We go again. There's certain roles I just... Like, for example, I don't like complete forwards because I've never managed to find... I always find that if I have a complete forward and I play them as an advanced forward, they just play better. I, I've just never managed to find a way to get them to work properly. Oh, he's not happy with this. Starting more games. Uh, let's see. I should just be able to hit him with the Inquire. Oh, no. Yes. They do seem to accept less playing time much easier this year. However, it comes with the like caveat that often they'll then use that as a way to say oh i'm not playing enough i want to leave alden freitch okay 30 caps of luxembourg so that could be a problem for us potentially wait oh now he should be starting more games in fairness so i don't want to piss him off so that's fine i will tell him i'm going to start him more because he needs to play more because uh, long term he's the successor to carpenter for sure she's so the game time but my assistant at the moment still really you as well more around impressive forward yeah and that's the thing that i find that they just don't do what i want them to do they're, they're so well-rounded but a lot of, particularly young complete forwards uh, you'll get more game time to oh sod off not this shit again <sighs> sorry let's just add that to the list things 1577 that were brought in this year that make no don't make the game any better and just make it more tedious to play tick i'm surprised you didn't say the water under the bridge shit again you've been here six months danko pipe down um get on with your job you melon i hate that i didn't break any promises to you though did i mate oh dear and that went away for a bit too we haven't had that problem in years and now it's back again for some reason we went through a massive spell of that shit for a while, but it went away. And I wasn't, like, doing anything different, but now it's back again. Good. Uh, Herman Franco. Franco Gutierrez. Hang on. An Argentinian that will talk to us. What is this? 
Oh, there's some good stuff in here. Oh, this is the guy, isn't it? The central midfielder. No, it's a different guy. Fairwin uses an advanced forward. Well, to be fair, Vosterek actually is... That might be one of the reasons why he's not as successful, in fairness. <laughs> it's probably still Blake, you're right, yeah. Free to do whatever they want. Yeah, the problem is that often what they want to do is not really suit our tactical style and thus causes problems. Some good players again. Are we actually... Is this get, list getting any short? It might just be because we've got even more sensational players that we found. What a name, by the way. Julian Ion. Great news. This was that striker that looked quite good on the face of things, but... Eh. I do like Shadow Striker, but it's one of my go-tos when I go down to 10 men. I always go Shadow Striker. Edvon! Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, let me see. What was I going to check there? Oh, yeah. I want to see how many... How have we narrowed it down? Oh, we actually have, I think. By how much? Ah, oh, by basically nothing. In the course of today's stream, it's gone down by like 15 players. Uh, yeah, we did, Silver. So basically, technically he's not. But weirdly, there's three keepers in the squad. There's the starting keeper, which is Canazares. Imagine Porto win again. There's him, who's had a couple of caps. And there's a, a mother goalkeeper in the place for Valencia, who's much, much better than him, who for some reason doesn't have any caps. It's very odd. So I don't think he's going to be getting as many caps as... Wow, Porto could still win that, you know. Atletico Ottawa. I didn't know that was a team. Let's see. Annual fee paid to Letter Kenny. Got to pay them off. Loyalty good. Professionals have dropped. Oh, dear. More controversial. Who is it that we've got? The voice losing weaker foot. Ah! Could be worse. Right. Atletico. I probably knew. I am going to have to type in more words. Atletico Ottawa. Canadian Premier League. I guess I've never really paid much attention oh, to um, my car. the CPL, honestly. I actually didn't know the words. I love that they're sponsored by Come On. <laughs> BCAP, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the meta for big meaty men does make me kind of sad. I, I like, I mean, FM's, we all know FM's never going to be perfect, obviously. That's just not a reliable, but it would be nice if there was a bit more variety of tactics that were sort of able to be played successfully, I guess. That that would be the kind of the fun part, but it's still very fun, isn't it? Let's be honest. Uh, right. I'm going to, I'm going to read Longhurst today. I haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, let's see. Boom. I'm going to set that up now. Fun league. Yeah, I mean, was that a, did that come on not work properly? I don't think that worked properly. Long first live. There we go. That was weird. My ra- uh, and it, it's that the other day where we nearly raided a different person called Fox in the Box. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a thing. Uh, so I'm going to save the, save the ball there. And uh, yeah, so on Saturday, obviously I'll go up to the start of our European campaign, whichever round we're in at this point. Uh, I will try to keep you posted in the Discord of what the other Irish sides do if I can. Um, or sometimes I forget. So yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday when we'll be back into Europe. Good stuff will be back. We might well be going into Europe with this new tactic. So hold your horses on that one. It's going to be a season of much experimentation, but it's worth a go. And if that fails, whatever, we just tear up the rule book and we build a new tactic from scratch. What could possibly go wrong? That's fun, right? Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for the huge support today. Like, seriously, thank you so much. If you have enjoyed as well, you haven't already, uh, drop a follow. That'd be lovely. But for now, I was reaching over to my stream deck as if I could push a button that does anything there. Let's go raid Longhurst. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.